I didn't know what I was talking about. And there is no Bible to substantiate what I said. Well, I hear that all the time. So we're going to give him time. We're going to give him time once he get in. Brother Mike, make sure that his microphone is already functioning. I want everybody to hear what he's saying the moment I put him to the mic. Make sure that there's plenty of juice. I don't want to miss nothing. And I don't want our viewers and the many hundreds that are here to miss anything either. What's the hole up, brother? Bible said now everything is made ready. Bible is here, we are here, <laughs> word of God is here. Most of all, we know God is here. <laughs> Glory to God. We know that almighty God is here. <laughs> Our stand is plain and simple. Holiness is God's way. God don't have more than one way. Get me and hear me. He only have one way, one rule, one setup. God only have one purpose, and that purpose is for us to hear his word and obey his word. So, Mr. Vegas is here. Thank God for him being present. Now, as I said before he came in, we thank God for him being present. As I said before he came in, I don't know him. He certainly don't know us. But uh, he attacked Pastor Jennings. And he attacked what we preached. And he attacked First Church. That two or three minute clip that went viral, the women preachers that was hollering here in Jamaica said some of the same things he said. And I'm here in Jamaica for one reason, to answer my critics. For I believe that if you can criticize what I preach behind my back, then you can do it just as good to my face. Now, we're not going to have a discussion on a bunch of subjects. He said I'm a false prophet. He said what I was preaching was wrong and it should not be preached in church. And we're going to deal with this with the Bible. Not opinion, not idea, not personal views. I'm a Bible preacher. And that's all I'm interested in is the Bible. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to Mr. Vegas and I want to hear him and I want you to respectfully listen. Don't interrupt him. And let's listen clearly at what Mr. Vegas have to say. Brothers and sisters, Mr. Vegas. Good morning, one and all. Hatep to you all means I come in peace and I come with love. Nothing to be scared about. Today I'm here to address statements that Pastor Gina Jennings made. Today, I am here to stand with every woman in this world, on this planet, who is against sexism, verbal, physical abuse, oppressors, and cowards. I strongly believe that it is my responsibility to stand with you ladies. I strongly believe 
that if I did not take this opportunity to be here, I could never live with myself. Wonderful. I didn't plan on bringing scriptures into my conversation. Because Pastor Gina Jennings is a man of scripture. Many of my friends said, Mr. Vegas, are you crazy? You can't go stand beside Pastor Jennings. That man is going to crush you. A brother here is laughing and he said, yes, he is. But I remember, remember I did not want to bring scriptures. But I remember growing up as a boy, and my favorite Bible scripture was David and Goliath. Everyone wow. believed that Goliath was going to crush David, ain't it so? So yes, he is, right? Yes, he is. Wonderful. I know, you're, I know you're a beautiful tactics that you used to throw people off, Pastor. I've researched you a lot. I was a, fan of, <laughs> I was a fan of your show. But to get back on point, I grew up in a board house, no electricity, no running water, very poor. I grew up and I saw a mother and I did not see a father. I saw a woman that when I started getting older, I started wondering, wonder if she is God. I started wondering, where is dad? My mom is one of the reasons why I'm here. My mom, she walked around washing clothes, sometimes by the river, sometimes in a basin that she had us learning to wash, and it was just her. Now when I listen to Pastor Gina Jennings calling females whores, prostitutes, for wearing nail polish, it instantly reconnected, we, reconnected me with my mom's fingers. I saw those blisters. I saw those nails ripped. If my mom was here now and I saw those nails ripped, I would be like, Mama, let me get you to a salon so you can fix up them nails for all the work that you've been doing for us, for us to eat. I could never look on my mom as a whore. I would never look on a lady with lipstick makeup as whores. When I see you ladies, I see Michelle Obama. She wears makeup. Have you ever heard a scandal with her being a harlot? Of her being a sex escort? Of her being a slut? Which is the definition of a whore? If you believe putting on some makeup on your face makes you a whore, then somebody needs to get their head checked. If you believe wearing some hair on your head qualifies you for the whorish status, then you, get to need, you need to get your head checked. I'm going to tell you why. We are living in a world, this present time, where women are losing their hair. Not by choice, but because of pollution, because of even chlorine that is added into your water, it let your hair start fall out. 
it lets your hair front start ball out. And let's think about it. All these gentlemen over on this side ask them how many of them will take you into marriage with your hair front at the back of your head. Because they're looking at someone who is attractive to make them a wife. So if I'm going to see someone with some hair on, I would like to know what happened to your hair. Not that you are a whore. And if Pastor Gina Jennings was just addressing the church, then maybe you should shut the cameras off from in your church so that no one sees it outside of the church. Wonderful. Yes, wonderful. I know. So to think about it, you are being called a whore for something that you did not even have control over. There is a place in the United States of America called Flint where the water is poisoned. And if we are drinking poison, our hair and our nails are going to be damaged. That is not the definition of a whore. And let me ask you all a question. You come to church today, and you wear your cap, okay? And you wrap your head, okay? But are you going to go to work tomorrow with the falls here? Are you going to go to work tomorrow with any makeup? Are you going to go to work tomorrow with any fingernail polish? Are you going to go to work and sit beside somebody with false hair, makeup, and fingernail polish? And that person is a whore. So that per Come here, young man. Come here. Come here. Yes, you. Come here. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. How old you are? Eleven. He's eleven. He just said, if his mama goes to work with someone who is wearing false hair, nails, and makeup, they're a whore. A baby. A baby. Nice round of applause. Go sit down. Now this is what we are teaching our young men at this early age. This, hold on, I didn't come here for applause. I get that on stage shows. I didn't come here for approval ratings. I came here because of a baby like him. Who he's now calling women whores. Next thing he's gonna be using his feet, he's gonna use his hand. Yes! What makes it different? Because that is what is being taught. And you disbelieve me about it. Okay. Explain to me the amount of murders that is being committed against our women in Jamaica. Where it started? It started indoctrinating the kids. Because of our everybody, way. Everybody be quiet. Just listen. Everybody no, be to, quiet. We're, we're in a conversation. Pastor. Everybody be so, quiet. So Just listen. We don't need to continue the cycle. Can you imagine this young man walking up to Portia Simpson, Honorable Portia Simpson, our first female president, prime minister, and saying, you have on some falls here, Madam Portia, you are a whore. And then you're going to laugh with him. And then you're going to all 
sit here and say he is right. Because I've seen Madame Portia Simpson in four years. I've seen her in makeup. I look at Oprah Winfrey with her makeup on. And in case y'all don't know what and where face painting comes from, it comes from your ancestors. We brought it from Africa. Face painting was a means to know which tribe is which tribe. It was a way to make us powerful. So we can support a baby being indoctrinated by religion that a woman in falls here and makeup is a whore. Do you know what is the definition of a whore, young man? Do you know the definition? It means someone who sells themselves. It means a slut. Yes, that's what it means. Ask your mama. And your mama is saying that's not what. Pastor, what does it mean? Maybe you need to explain to them, Pastor, what is the definition of a prostitute? It means to sell sex. Please let me know how much time I have because I... I don't want to use out everything and pass and come with some Bible and I can't back it up. How much time I got? Just a little bit. Go ahead. Tell me, moderator, slash. You just have a little debating. bit. Go on. I got five minutes, ten minutes. How much? You just have a little bit. Just go. I'm on. doing good, right? You're doing good. Yeah. Go on. You're doing good. <laughs> You're doing good, Vegas. Come here, Jay. Go to Revelation 5, verse 5. And I want you all to remember that you agreed what a prostitute is. You agreed that pastor, it's okay for pastor to call these women prostitutes. History is going to mark it. History has it documented. Go to Revelation 5, verse 5. Revelation 5, verse 5. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah and the root of David have prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. Read it one more time, Jay, and read it slowly, please. And one of the elders, and one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seals thereof. The tribe of Judah. Who is the Lion of the tribe of Judah? Who is the Lion of the tribe of Judah? Can somebody help me? Am I in church? Am I in church? Brothers! I know you're waiting for the main speaker. Who is the lion of the tribe of Judah? Jesus? Is it Jesus? Pastor, maybe you can help me. Is it Jesus? Yes, sir. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Go to Genesis 38, verse 21. I said I was not going to bring Bible because I know Pastor knows the Bible from back to front, making all over the place. Brother Gary said, no, 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 Mr. Vegas, no, 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 no. It's not going to work. We're not going to have you if you can't speak from the Bible. I said, okay. Bring it on. Because we got nothing to fear but fear itself. And God does not deal with favoritism. So no one is above none. Go to Genesis 38 verse 31. Genesis 38, verse 21. Read it loud so they can hear, Jay. Let them then know he, that you enter school challenge quiz and you're very bright. Then he asked the men of that place, saying, Where is the harlot? And that was openly by the wayside. And they said, There was no harlot in that place. And go on to verse 22. Go to verse 15. Verse 15. Yes, sir. When Judah saw her, he thought, he thought her to be an harlot because she had covered her face. 
Go to the other verse that we have there. I think it's verse, verse 22. And he returned to Judah and said, I cannot find her. And also the men of the place said that there was no harlot in this place. And verse 24. And it came to pass about three months after that it was told Judah said, Tamar, thy daughter-in-law, had played the harlot. And also, behold, she is the child of whoredom. And Judah said, bring her forth and let her be buried. Hold on. Is that the same Judah that Revelation is speaking about? <laughs> so that's a dip. Maybe you need to ask pastor before you say no. Maybe you need to ask pastor. Don't, don't put yourself out there. We got cameras. We got cameras here. So Judah, where the lion came from, the lion who passed up, acknowledged that his Jesus was out buying prostitutes. All right. Let me finish my point. Great finish, one. Finish your point and then let's get down to Bible. Let me finish my point, great one. Judah was out buying prostitutes. Tamar, who was promised to his son, came down dressed as a prostitute and Judah brought himself unto her. And why am I speaking about this? Because when Judah heard that she was pregnant, what did he do? He said, go get her and burn her alive. And if she did not take that staff, and if she did not take that seal, he would have covered his sins. All right, Mr. Vegas. Let me finish it. one last thing, Pastor. Mr. Vegas. I'm going to close it. So what I'm telling you today, do not pay attention to the name callers. Pay attention to their heart and their actions. Judah was a man who was buying prostitutes, yet still he wanted to kill prostitutes. All right, we done heard from Mr. Vegas. Uh, you don't have to sit down, you can remain standing. Now. I, I respectfully will sit and enjoy your sermon until my All name right, is called. Well, if, All right, well, if you want to sit down yes, until yes, your name wanna, is called, that'll be fine. I don't want to disrupt you. That'll be All right? fine. Yes. Now, I hope I get the chance to speak again. Now, brothers and sisters, I enjoyed what Mr. Vegas have to say, but he misrepresented Pastor Jennings. Amen. You see, if he would have heard the whole message and not a two or three minute clip, he would have known that we were not saying at any time that a woman is a whore because she wear makeup mm. or because she wear fake hair or because she wear jewelry. At no time did we say a woman is a whore because she wear those things. We were dealing with, with the way women look. Look. It's a look. And the look of a whore include makeup. Now he says it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Now let's get down to Bible. Amen. Let's get down to Bible now. Um, can we just... No, no, just a minute. No. I didn't interrupt you. I, I let know. You Before we no, get to Bible, no, no, one second. No. Can we play the clip? No. Can we play the clip, please? Just a minute. Mr. Can we Vegas, play the clip? Just a minute. Just a minute. Can one, we play the clip? Just a minute. You done seen the clip? No, no. Just I a want, minute. I just, would like for the congregation to hear the clip because you just said... A minute. You said you did not call the women whores. Just horse. a minute. Okay. That's not what I said. Okay, so play the clip. Just a minute. Let's play the clip. Let, let me say this to you. I don't know how you used to conducting yourself, but long as you in God's house, 
you're going to conduct yourself orderly even if you're not used to it. Let me just make that clear. Now, let's get down to Bible. Like I said, Mr. Vegas, he misrepresented us. Because the whole message was in play, we were not saying because a woman wear makeup, she is a whore because she have on makeup. We was dealing with, and we ain't just start preaching this. No. We preached this for years. The way the women look today. If a woman is a nurse, but yet she's dressed like a cop, she look like a cop, you're going to think she's a cop. Amen. You're not going to think she's a nurse because she looked like an officer. So if a woman looked like Jezebel, yes. you're going to think she is one of Jezebel's daughters. Mm. Now, hear me. We're going to strike this out with the Bible. All that talk don't mean nothing. Either the Bible deal with the look or the Bible does not. Right. Either it matters how our women look or you justify looking any way you want. Yeah. He mentioned about our ancestors. I go back further than our ancestors. Yeah. I'm going all the way back to God. Amen. Never mind ancestors, I'm going all the way back to God. Yeah. Before we had any ancestors, there was God. Now, I want you to follow me in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Second Kings. 2 Kings chapter 9. Chapter 9. And we're starting in verse 22. We want to deal with the characteristics of a woman. Yeah. And then we're going to deal with the same woman, the look that went with her character. Amen. See, this is what a lot of folks done. They jumped up too quick and start fighting in Pastor Jennings and they thought Pastor Jennings was saying, because a woman wear makeup, she is a whore. That is not what I was saying. Play the clip, and Pastor. And only them that heard the entire message know what I was saying. That's right. But only them that heard the two minute or three minute, they jumped mm. and started running. And then start saying, Pastor Jennings hate women. I don't hate no woman. My mother is a woman. I'm married to a God-fearing, beautiful woman. I have three daughters, and I have thousands of women in the truth of God following me all around the world. So any man, any man that say I hate women, you're a liar, number one. Number two, if any man says it doesn't matter what a woman wear, because the Bible never tell a woman what to wear, you a liar. And I'm going to deal with you real good with the Bible. I don't want mouth. I don't want opinion. We're going to deal with this with the Bible. Amen. All right, follow me in the Bible. Second Kings chapter 9, and we're at verse 22. Listen. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. When Joram saw Jehu, that he said, is it peace, Jehu? Yes. And he answered, what peace? What peace? So long as the whoredoms. So long as the whoredoms. Of you know, they say Pastor Jenny shouldn't use the word whore in church. God mm. said it. That's right. God said it. So long as the whoredoms. And the Bible says, whatsoever things are written a full time is written for our learning. I saw it written, I learned it, and I said, and there's nothing you and nobody else can do about it. Hallelujah. I'm going to say what God said. Hallelujah. Here, Pastor Jennings, now, Hallelujah. whatever God said, I'm going to say, because God said, preach the word, and this is the word, and I dare you to touch what I said. Amen. Now, listen at this. So long as the whoredoms, so long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel, of thy mother Jezebel. Now, the Bible make it plain. Jezebel was a whore, was Hordes. she not? Amen. The Bible make it plain. Jezebel so, was a whore. Yeah. And they said, this type of language should not be used in the church. Well, you're going to bring some Bible to prove that I should not say what the Bible said. That's right. And if the only excuse you folks can come up with, you got children in here. That's right. 
The Bible says preach the word. That get everybody. That's right. Let the children know what it is. Let the children know what it's not so they don't become that. Amen. Now, listen at the Bible. So long as the whoredoms, so long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel. Of your mother Jezebel. Now that, here, the Bible's talking about somebody's mother. Right. That's right. Yeah, man. The Bible is clearly talking about somebody's mother, Vegas. Listen, so, he's talking about somebody's mother, and not only is he talking about the conduct of the mother, but the Bible also going to deal with the look that's right. of the mother. That's right. All right. So long as the whoredoms of thy mother so Jezebel, the whoredom as thy mother Jezebel, and her witchcrafts are so and many, and her witchcraft are so many. Now, All right, that's her conduct. Mm -hmm. Now let's deal with the look. Now Second Kings chapter nine, and we're at verse thirty. Parliament. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel, yes. Jezebel heard of it. Wait a minute. When Jehu came to Jezreel, Jezebel, Jezebel heard of it. Heard of it. And she. And she, Jezebel, painted her face and tied her hair. And yet, what did the Bible say she was? The whoredoms of thy mother, Jezebel. And how did she look? She painted her face. It's not a so-called Christian woman or God-fearing woman. Nowhere in the Bible, nowhere, nowhere. that was walking around looking like Jezebel. That's right. Nowhere. That's right. Jezebel was a whore, and she had a look that went with it. Amen. So what I was preaching then is the same thing I'm preaching now. If God's women live for God, walk for God, conduct themselves in a manner that God requires, then when you look at the holy women of God, they should not be looking like Jezebel. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Mr. Vegas said, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. That's his mouth. Yeah. When you wear makeup, that's face paint. Right. And any time you do something, let me ask you a question, Mr. Vegas. If we do something and it's in vain, when you do something in vain, is it any good? I'll address your questions when you finish speaking, Pastor. No, I'm asking you now. I will address your no, question. No, I'm asking you now. Play the tape. I'm asking you now. Play the Never tape. Never mind the tape. You got me live right here now. Say it again. Never Say it again. Mind the tape. Say your exact Come words on. again. Say you, your exact words again. You did all this talk. In, in, I want, in I want all respect. All my viewers, in all, all respect. All my viewers and all of you that are here. In all respect. He got, just a minute. In he all got respect. On social media. You call my name. He in got all respect. All this mouth. You call my name. And now that he's up here with the pit bull, Amen. now he's running scared. Let's get ready to dig in that Bible. Answer my hold question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, no, we're not hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, we're not in here to answer be bullied, the question. we're not in here Mr. to disrupt, Vegas. remember, your, answer your the question. Bible says, your Bible says, everything must deal with indecency, okay, so I am in order, but the Bible okay. says, debate thine cause with thine brother, everything must and be I'm done, in order. everything must be done orderly, I'm orderly right now, everything must be done Mr. orderly, Vegas, so, don't try to wiggle out of it, if I if did my, if I, is done in vain, I wait is until it you any finish. good, I'll wait until you finish speaking, Mr. Vegas, I'll wait until you finish speaking, if anything, let me know, let me know when to speak, done let me know when to vain. speak, let me know when what to speak. What happened to all that mouth, Let Mr. Vegas? me know when to speak. What happened to let all me that know, mouth? Let me know when to speak because right, according, bend, bend according to your Bible, bend everything that. must be done orderly. I, right. I, I did my time. I did my time. I did not ask him to come up here. Just a minute. So ask Just me a minute. the questions when you're finished. Just a minute. The Bible said the Apostle Paul disputed. In the book of Acts, chapter 19. Then that he said, I'm out of order. Let's see, am I doing what the apostle done? Acts, Listen at this. Acts chapter 19 and at verse 9. All right. But when Darius were hardened and believed not, yes. but spake evil of that way before the multitude, uh -huh. he departed from them and separated the disciples. Yeah. Disputing. Wait a minute, what Paul was doing? Disputing. That's what we have it now. Disputing. We're having a dispute. Where? Daily. 
What? Daily. I dispute often. Amen. And if I'm doing what the Bible say do, I'm in order. In the so school. Where? In the school what? of one tyrannous. I'm here in the YWCA of Disputing. Kingston. And I'm having a dispute Disputing. with Vegas. And I'm in order. Amen. According to what the Bible says. Disputing daily. Disputed how often? Daily. How often? Daily. How often? Daily. So I'm not out of order. Mm -hmm. I'm and not this out continue. of order at all. I'm in order. That's right. Because I'm doing what the Bible said to do. Right. Now come back and answer the question. If anybody, whether it's you or me, male or female, if they do something and it's in vain, is it any good? I will answer when my time comes around. He's afraid. Yes. I will answer when I get my time. All right, let's get the book of Jeremiah because he's afraid. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 4 and at verse 30. He's afraid to answer. I know your tactics. Let's I've get watched the Bible. you. Jeremiah, I've watched chapter you. 4 and verse I've 30. Watched you. Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 30. Listen, if you're not going to answer none of the questions, why are you here? Why don't you speak your speak your speech? If speak, you're not do going your, answer the question, do, what did you come Do for? your speech. Do your speech and give me my time. This is my speech. All right, continue your speech. This is it right here. So continue. Part of my speech is That is the reason you. why Mr. all Vegas, things must be done orderly. Are because you answer the question? Because if there was a moderator, he would have to do his time. He would, have, he would have to do his time. You need a moderator to know what you're talking about? No, I need a moderator to bring order. You need a moderator to know what you're we talking about? We are not operating in order, According no, Pastor. To the Bible, set we are. You got to set an example. Disputing daily. What did the Bible say? Disputing daily. Did Paul have a moderator? Disputing daily. When Paul was in a dispute, did he have a moderator? Disputing daily. When Paul was having a dispute like I'm having with you, did Paul have a moderator? Disputing daily. Did Paul have a moderator? I'll wait my time. Did Paul have a moderator? I'll wait my time. When Pastor Paul was disputing in the school of Tyrannus, did he have a moderator? Disputing if daily. If you know what you're talking about and you're able to back up what you said, you don't need no moderator. The Bible is my moderator. The reason? The Bible is our moderator. All right. Now come All on right. and answer the question. Hold on, hold on, I hold on. I sat and listened at you. Hold on, hold I on. I didn't interrupt on. you one time. But you're asking now, me to interrupt. Ask You are the asking question. me to interrupt. If you do something I will answer your question. I will answer your question in good? my time. I will answer your question in my time. This is your and time And I now. understand. All right, so you ready for me to speak? I want you to answer. You ready for my time? I'm ready for you Let to me know answer. if I got my time. I'm ready. Let me know if I got my time. Answer the because question. Because I understand why you don't like a moderator, because you got something Jeremiah. against mothers, and you want a fatherator. Mr. Ma Mr. Vegas, will you please answer the question, because all your show Let me know when is my it. time. Let me know when is my time. Listen, answer the question. I need my time. You're wasting time, I'm Pastor. I'm giving you time now. Respectfully, Pastor, you're Are you going to answer the question? Pastor, I could not get half an hour. Are you going to answer I, the I question? I could not get half an hour to make my speech. Mr. And Vegas. You have, you have stayed on this subject. Are you going to answer the question? Respectfully, I'm with makeup. Respectfully, if Pastor. If you do something in my, vain, okay, let me is answer you. it let any me answer you. good? Let me answer you. My mom, my mom wore nail polish. I want Bible. I don't want my your mama. My mom... Because you know what? I want Bible. Okay, I don't let want me answer your mama. You. Let me answer you. The Bible's more let me important you. than your mama. Let me answer you. Let me answer the you. The Bible's more important than let your mama. You. And the Bible's more important than my mama. Hold on. Huh? Hold on. You know what Jesus' mama said? Jesus' mama said, whatever he said, do it. Hold on. That's what Jesus' hold mama on, hold said. On. I want I want to. Jesus' mama said, whatever he says. Do it. Hold on. Now, hold on. You can get your Bible. Hold on, hold on, I want Bible. Hold on, Pastor. If you do I'm going to give you Bible. I'm going to give you Bible. I'm going to give you Bible. Get Bible. I'm going to give you Bible. I want Bible to justify makeup. Do you realize what this man is saying? Okay. This man is saying the Bible is older than a woman. Is that what the part? That's what you believe? Wait a minute, I didn't understand. Give you saying a round of applause if you believe the Bible is older than a woman. Yes, it is. Let me prove it. Just a minute. Let me prove the Bible is the word of God, isn't it? Let me prove that the word is older than the woman. Give me the book of John. 
chapter one. one. Begin at verse one. That's I'm right. gonna make you lick up what you say. I'm gonna make you lick it up, Vegas. Vegas, get your tongue ready. You I'm gonna prove to you that the word is older than yes, your sir. mama, my mama, okay. and older than Eve. Get the Bible. St. John chapter one and at verse one. Listen at St. John chapter, chapter one. one. Verse one. And verse one. In the beginning was the word. Was your mama back there? Was your mama back there? Answer the question. Genesis. No, no. Don't go pushing away. Of, was your mama in the beginning? In the book of Genesis. Was your mama in the beginning? In the book of Genesis. Read it again. Wait. In the in, beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word. And the word. Was with God. Was with God. And the word. Who was the word? Was God. God is the word. God is the word. All right. Okay. And there okay. is okay. no woman. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There is no Hold woman. Hold on. The Bible. The Bible. I want y'all to. I want y'all to listen this carefully. Vegas. Can you, Vegas. You cannot ask me to ask a question. Vegas. Hold on. 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 You don't have to breathe. You go. You don't. You said you don't have to come over here. You don't have to. Older than the Bible. Everything must be done orderly. I'm in order. Everything right must now. be done come orderly. On, so if this is order, is the word if this is order, if this is order. You got to let is someone. Is the word pastor, older pastor. than your hold mother on, hold on, hold and on. my mother? Hold on, no, no, hold on, no, no, hold, on. No. hold on, 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 pastor, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got to calm down. I'm very calm. Okay, so slow down. Vegas. When you ask someone a question, Vegas. when you ask someone a Just question, when you ask someone a question, what do they do? Did he say? When you that ask the someone woman a question, was older than the word. Yes. She is. Yes. Is the word God? Wait. You need to give in me the time. Is the word God? You need to give me time Come on, to Vegas. answer your question. Is the word God? You said the Bible. In the you beginning, said, calm down, sir. Calm was down. the word? You gotta calm in down. The beginning was what? The you, word. You gotta calm down. You gotta calm down. In the down. beginning was the word. Is the Bible the, the word? The argument is: Is a woman older than the Bible? Is a woman older than the Bible? Yes. A Who wrote the Bible? Older than the hold, Bible. On. The Bible hold on, hold on, hold on. You're talking over me, you're talking over me. Who wrote, the, who wrote the Bible? Who wrote the Bible? Who wrote the Bible? Never mind that, I don't want that. In the beginning hold on. was the hold on. world. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, amen. Hold on. Who created this book? Who wrote this book? Who used pen and paper to give this to you? Was this written by a man? Was this written by a man? Yeah, just a minute. Was this written by a man? Let me tell you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Answer my question. Answer my question. Answer my question. Answer my question. Was this written by a man? Vegas. Vegas. Let me teach you because you don't know what you're talking about. Was this about. written by a man? Vegas, let me teach you because you don't know what you're talking about. Was this written by a man? Ladies Answer my gentlemen. question. Answer my question. Ladies and gentlemen. Answer my question. Listen, the word was Answer here. Just my be quiet. Question. Just be quiet, Vegas. Just be quiet. Because you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Let me educate you and let me teach Vegas. You got to tell me who Vegas. wrote this. Can I who wrote this? Hey, hey, Vegas. Who wrote this? Give me your Bible, brother. This is older than a woman according to you and your pastor. Now, Who wrote this? Brothers and sisters. Who wrote this? Because Vegas just running off at the mouth. And if he knew what the Bible was, if he knew what the word was, he would hold, on, hold, hold on, this up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If he knew. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, I gotta make a point, if Pastor. Vegas Pastor, I gotta knew. make a point. I gotta make an important if point. Vegas knew Pastor. Pastor, the word was, I'm gonna disrupt. I'm gonna disrupt. I'm gonna disrupt. This up. I'm gonna disrupt the if you Bible don't let me speak. It is in important. The beginning was the can we, word. Can we get this someone to take order? Can in we get someone to take order? Was the word. Can we get in someone to take oh, order, please? No, no. We want to. We, we want, want Bible. I want to say something. We want Bible. It is very important to say what we I'm saying. We want Bible. If you have the Holy Spirit, you will know. Bible. Can you? Chapter. So can Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. God. Hold on. God is the word. Hold on. Hold on. You're shouting. God have no beginning. You're not even. God have no ending. God always was. God always will be. Before there was ink and paper, 
there was the word. word. Okay. And now I want to speak. Before there was ink and, and, and paper, I, there was the word. And In I the need beginning, to speak. named the woman I need that to speak. was older. Okay. Can I speak? I don't want to hear Can your I speak? Can no, I speak? I want Can I speak? If you, you don't, told a lie. If you don't allow me to speak, you told a lie. I want to speak. I want Bible. I want to speak. I don't want your mouth. Now, now what I want to I say is, I don't want your mouth. What I want to say is, if I, want I can. Bible. You got I it. want Bible. Sir, you're leading. I want Bible. You are leading sheep. I want Bible. You're 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 leading sheep. You brought it. You are leading this sheep. This is what I want. You are leading sheep. You brought this. Use it. I want Let me see. Bible. In Let the me beginning. See. Hold on, hold on. I want Let me see who is the bigger person here. I want Bible. Let me see who is the bigger person here. I want Bible. Let me see who is the bigger person here. I want Bible. Let me see who is the bigger person here. I want Bible. Let me see who is the bigger person here. I want Bible. Let me see who is the bigger person here. I want Bible. Let me see who is the bigger person here. I want Bible. Let me see who is the bigger person here. I want Bible. Let me see who is the bigger person here. I want Bible. Let me see who is the bigger person here. I want Bible. In the beginning, that's all we want. I don't want your mouth. I don't want your mouth. Just a minute. Now can I speak? Just a minute. Now can I speak? Now, ladies and gentlemen. Now can I this speak? This is a biblical discussion. Can I speak? Not opinion. Can I not speak? Not idea. We want Bible. Can I you speak? Here, get up here, run off at the mouth. Can I and speak? Pick up the time. Can I speak? You, when you get speak some Bible. If you don't want me to speak, it's fine. Speak Bible. So I want to speak. Vegas, speak Bible. Can I speak? Are you going to speak Bible? Can I speak? Just a Can minute. Can I speak? Just a minute. Can I Just speak? Just a minute. Just a minute, everybody. Just a minute. Listen. Do we want to hear Vegas or do we want to hear Bible? Do we want to hear Vegas or do we want to hear Bible? Call your chapter and your verse. Hold on. Hold on. Now, can I speak now? Everybody else be quiet. Can Call your chapter and your verse. Sir, in all respect, you Call are... Call your chapter you and your verse. You are a bully. You are a bully. Call me whatever you, you want. You are a bully, and you can't bully me. Call me. You can't bully me. Get your chapter and your I've verse. I've been through the battles, brother. Get your I've chapter been through the battles. and the verse. You can't bully Get me, it. brother. You can't bully your me, brother. Don't mean nothing you can't again. bully me, brother. Get the chapter. You can't bully me. Ben, you know you so can't much. bully Get me. You can't bully me, brother. Do so can I speak? Vegas or do we want Bible? Okay, can I speak? Do we want can Bible. Can I speak? Okay. I want Bible. Can I That's speak? That's what I want. Can I speak? All right, everybody be can quiet. Can I speak? Everybody be quiet. Can I speak? We're going to let him speak and see can what chapter. Can I speak? We want to see. Everybody be quiet. Can Listen. I speak? Listen. Thank you. Thank everybody you. Everybody be quiet. Thank you. Thank you. We want to Thank see you. what chapter. Thank you. Thank what you. What book and what verse. Thank you. He's going to call. Thank you. That proves you can wear makeup, and also that proves that a woman is older than the word. Amen. Them are the two lies he better clean up. Amen. All right, now go ahead can and get I speak now. First and foremost, you a young man there. No, you're not. Don't, nah, don't say nothing. No, don't you're not. Nothing. Don't say nothing. No, you're not. Don't say nothing. Don't no, you're not. Don't say nothing. Because you know why you're not older don't than me? Let me because God knew me before now, I knew myself. You, you don't know me. Don't talk you to don't the know lawyers. me, boy. Debate Pastor Jennings. You either debate Pastor Jennings or sit down. Hold on. Be a Hold man. on. Hold on. Be a man. Hold on. Hold Be on. Be a man. Hold on. Either so you, you debate Pastor you, Jennings okay. or sit down. You as the pastor, you need to control either your you sheep. Debate Pastor you need Jennings to control your sheep. Like a man. Let me speak. Now sit down. Let me speak. Debate Pastor Let me Jennings speak. like a man. Let me speak. Or sit down. Let me speak. Debate Let Pastor me Jennings speak. like a real man. Let me know. Let me know when you finish. Or sit down. Let me know when you finish. Call your chapter and verse. Let me know when you finish. In Back the beginning what? was. You come with him, sir. You call the sir. chapter and verse and help him, sir. Get on up there and help him. When well, you gotta take me down? Don't you just want to read for him? You gotta take me Get down with the congregation. Come on. And history son. will document Get up there itself. And help. Get up and help them. Now, can I speak? Oh, thank God I'd make can it I prophet. speak? Look up what they said. Can I speak? Call your chapter and verse. Can I speak? Yes. Thank you. Call your chapter thank and verse. Thank you. 
Everybody be I quiet want you to un- and listen for his chapter and his Thank verse. Thank you. Control your sheep, man. Control your sheep. Get your chapter and verse. Control your sheep, Get brother. Get your chapter and verse. Control your sheep. Come on, Vegas. Now, first and foremost, <laughs> what I was alluding to, and I'm going to say two things. Engineer, please turn up my microphone. That's one. God does not deal with favoritism according to your Bible. Turn back my microphone up. One. Never mind your microphone. Can, can I speak? Get your chapter. Can I speak? Talk Bible. Can I speak? Talk Bible. Can I speak? Talk Bible. Can I speak? Call your chapter. Can I speak? Prove that women is older than the word and women can wear makeup. Back up the two lies that's on the floor. Can, I need time to speak. Speak that. We've been wasting time, Come Pastor. Come on, Vegas. Pastor, we've been wasting time. I respectfully Come ask Come on, it. Vegas. You got over social media and ran off at your mouth. Now let's get some Bible. Come on, Vegas. Can I address what I'm saying? Come on, Vegas. I need to address what I'm saying. It is very important. Call your chapter and your verse. Pastor, can you respectfully take your place, please? I'm going to stand right here. <laughs> Amen. Call your chapter and your verse. Well, let me go over to your place. Call your chapter I and your verse. I respectfully ask that my microphone be turned I'm up. I'm going to follow you with the word. I respectfully word. ask for my microphone to be turned up. Call your chapter and your verse. You can go from one end of the building to the other. Get in that Bible. That's what we want, ain't it, folks? We don't want your lying mouth. I know your style. You said that I the know woman your style. is older I know your style. than the word. You're being recorded. You said you are being recorded, you, I, I and you're gonna be showcased you worldwide as a pastor who's out of control. Yes. You are out of control. I'm in control. You are out of control. That's why I got this so you on got you, now. you got to calm down. Vegas. You got to calm down. Vegas. You got to calm down. Vegas. Your testosterone Vegas. is blazing right Vegas. now. You got to calm down. You got to calm down. Talk. Hold on. Call your chapter and your verse. As that the woman is older than I think, the word. I think Call one. Your chapter. I think one. I need my microphone to stay up. One. Call your chapter and the verse that two, the woman is older two. than the word. Sir, you're shouting. You're shouting. Uh, the Bible says, you, lift up your voice as a trumpet. trumpet. And Sir. I'm going to shout. I'm going to shout. Okay. Okay. Call your chapter okay. and your verse. Okay. Well, let's turn the microphones off if you don't want to turn the microphones Call off. Call your chapter secondly, and your verse. Secondly, let me speak. Let me speak. You got to let me speak. You can't ask me a question and you do not give me a chance to answer the question. Call your chapter and your verse. You, you can't say the woman. I have been asking. The word, I have been asking the woman for 45 minutes to speak. Call your chapter All and your verse. All I see is. Your sheep throwing insults, telling me to Call get off the stage, that's not going to work. So I will set the order. Can we be respectful for each, to each Call other? Your chapter can and we your be verse. respectful to each other? Church, can we be respectful to each other? Call your chapter and your verse. Can we be respectful to each other? Call your chapter and your verse. You can't even say that. Now, call your chapter and your verse. Based on what I wanted to say, before this pastor got out of control, call your chapter and your verse that women is before the word. Respectfully, and pastor. They can wear makeup. Respectfully, you can't call your you, chapter and your verse. You should have thought twice before you stepped no, in this hornet's no. nest. No, no. You should have thought twice before you invited me. Call your chapter. You should have thought twice before you invited me. Don't you see I'm not even wavering? Your chapter Don't and you your see verse. I'm not even wavering? You got mouth. Don't you see that? You got mouth. Now I won't answer your question you if you will stop breathing down my neck. I'm going to breathe. God knows. That's why. Now get your that's why you did not need a get moderator. Your Bible. That's why you did not need a get moderator. Your Bible. Okay? Get your Bible. So I want to answer your question. Get your Bible. If you will step aside, get your please. Bible. Get your Bible. I need to... St- Call I'm your chapter in the verse. Can you step aside, please? I'm, I'm all right, right? We occupy okay. the same time. Okay. Come on. Call your chapter So let me see. I'm going to get to the Bible to answer your question. Go ahead. Call your chapter you need to. You need to get back over there. I'm My Bible is right there. Where I am. My Bible is there. That's nice. My Bible is here. My Bible is there. Call your chapter in verse. Okay. So let me know when you're ready to move. Call your chapter in verse. He said he come to defend the women. Let me know when you're ready to move. <laughs> I want you to defend women. I want to get to the up. words. I want to get to your words. Defend women. I, I, w- I want to get to the words, but get you got to step over there. Get it. You got to go. Yes, you All can right. leave your Bible. Thank you. I'm going to stay Gosh. right here. Oh, my God. For now. 
Now get your chapter and verse. Calm down. Get your chapter and verse. Calm down. Jay. Let's go, Jay. Stand Everybody up, Jay. be quiet. Thank Mr. you. Vegas Thank you. It's going to get Bible that Thank you. justify women wearing makeup. And Mr. Vegas is going to get Bible that women was here before the word. Can you imagine such a liar? Amen. Can you imagine such a man who does not know what he's speaking about? Let's see what chapter and verse. Come on, son. You can use this mic if you like. I won't bite you. You're good. Come go on, to son. Get the story everybody of Rebecca. Me. Let's go. It's funny, right? It's funny. Is this the house of the Lord? Is this the house of the Lord? So that means we should operate Everybody in an orderly. We now. should operate in an orderly manner. Just listen, Adam. All right. His reader All right. Gone. Help him. He's Let's go. Gone Let's go. Let's go to Genesis 24, J. Let's go to Genesis 24, J. Women wearing makeup. Let's go to Genesis. Let's go to Genesis 24. First and foremost, him. Pastor Jennings does not want to play the tape. Because you are going to hear stuff that is going to disturb you. That's one. So let me Everybody paraphrase. Be quiet. be quiet. Let me paraphrase. Pastor Jenny claim a woman who is wearing jewelry, makeup, nail polish, false hair, false breast, are whores and prostitutes. No, I said that's the way they Play look. the tape. Play the tape. They look. Play the tape. Uh, Vegas, Play the tape. Get the Bible that just Play the tape. Women Play the tape. Play the tape. Play the tape, please. We don't want your mouth. Play the tape Get and the then we will address. Play the tape and we will answer your, your name, question. Son? Play the tape. What's your name? Can we play the tape? Huh? What's your name? Can we play the tape? We want to get into the scripture. We want to get into the scripture. We are not running from the scripture. We want to get into the scripture. Play the tape. Mr. Vegas. Play the tape. Mr. Vegas, your reader is named Steve. Play the tape. Steve. Play the tape. Born from a woman. Born from a woman. Listen. Being that Vegas don't have Can they play the tape? You are reading for him. Can they play the tape? Now, I want you to get Bible for Mr. Vegas. Where a woman exists before Jay, God. Jay, and I also Jay, want you to get Bible Jay, for Vegas. Jay, where women can we wear go, makeup. Jay, Would you we go moment? at our time. God does not deal with favoritism Would according you to your that? Bible. Play the tape. Play Would, the tape. What on, are you ashamed Steve. of? Where what are you ashamed of? Play the tape. Too. Amen. Come on, Steve. Play Goodbye. the tape. Play the tape. Now we got order. Play the tape. Now. Play the tape. All right. We're going to bring this to an end. You know why? Right. This hypocrite know he ain't got no Bible. This hypocrite, this hypocrite knows, All right. this hypocrite knows that seat, I got seat. the Bible Steve, to defeat seat. what he said about Young women. Man. Play take the tape. Take your seat. Play take the seat. tape. Take your seat. All right, Vegas, take your seat. He is lying. Sit him down. He is a liar, Sit him a down. deceiver. Sit him down. Play the tape. Sit him down. Sit Play him the tape. Down. Play the tape. I'm already here. Sit him. I'm down. already here. Brother Mike. I'm already here. Call off. the police if you gotta move me. Sit him down. Play the tape. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to hear Bible. I don't want your mouth. I want Bible. He got over social media, all that bad mouth. All now that... all of a sudden, he need to hear the tape. Let's deal with Bible. In the beginning was the word. Everybody be quiet. To my viewers, this is the same Mr. Vegas that got all the mouth. All right, security, usher him out. Security, usher him out. Usher him out. Please don't touch me. Please don't touch usher me. Usher him out. No. Usher him out. Usher him out. You are not a police. Usher man. him out. Take his microphone and usher him out. Uh, take his microphone and usher him out. Take his microphone and usher him out. Take his microphone and usher him out. Take his microphone. Just a minute. Just a minute. Take his microphone. Usher him out. Take his microphone 
and usher him out. Take his microphone. Usher him out. Usher him out. Usher him out. Usher him out. It ain't nobody, just a minute, nobody is coming in First Church and think you're going to take over First Church. Not here. Not here. Not here. Wait a minute, Mathis, Mathis, if he wants to stay, he can stay if he wants. If he want to go, let him go. But nobody, everybody be seated. Everybody be seated. Nobody, I've said before and I say again, nobody coming in First Church and think First Church going to dance by your music. This is God's house. Amen. If you don't conduct yourself right, we will usher you out of here. Now somebody said, everybody be quiet, because I'm sure Mr. Vegas we get over social media and say, well, it's supposed to be church and you're not supposed to put nobody out. Let's get some Bible. Put such a one out of your mix. Read quick. Glory to God, don't slow around. Bible said, if any man, don't bring it. According to this word, note that man. Put such a one. Give me the last chapter of the book of Romans, son. My God, don't stumble with the word. Six chapter, 16th chapter. Everybody all right? This is what he had in mind, that he can come in here and take over first church. Not here. It's not a man on the planet that has come in first church and take it over. Romans chapter 16. Not here. We'll pick you up by your arms and legs and take you out of here. Listen at what the Bible said. Romans chapter 16 and at verse 17. All right, come on. Now I beseech you, brethren. I beseech you, brethren. Mark them. Mark them. Which cause divisions. Which cause divisions. And offenses. And offenses. Contrary to the doctrine. And do what? Which ye have learned and avoid them. What? Uh, for they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. I won't put such a one out of your midst. Put such a one out. Here they come in here with this rotten stuff. He never planned to bring Bible. Who will lie on God like that? A woman is older than the Bible. If you understood the Bible, you would know the word of God was here before any ink and paper exists. Let this be a warning to every so-called Bible person in Jamaica. Whenever you challenge First Church, don't ever think that you will come in here and take over the church. Let this be a warning. We don't care nothing about nobody's cheap celebrity status. The greatest celebrity in here is God. Find me the chapter in the verse quickly. No Bible. I don't want to hear no false prophet's mouth. I want Bible. You can say I'm getting out of order all you want. The Apostle Paul disputed, and we was having a dispute. And he thought he can go running around the pulpit. I wanted to follow him, and so I did. I want Bible. A woman is older than the word. That's blasphemy. That's the first sinner I've met that thought that way. A woman is older than the word. Women can wear makeup. And they say he come to fight for the women. If that's the best little weakling that women can produce, he's pitiful. Everybody must. Do what the word of God say, do. The Bible says this, whatsoever things were written 
of our time were written for our learning. You see, I'm not surprised because he's a sinner. I don't expect nothing more out of a sinner. A sinner don't know the Bible. Only thing a sinner know how to do is run off at his lying mouth. The devil is his father. God is our father. And when the devil come in here, think he will take over the church just like God threw him out of heaven where I throw you out of here. Are you listening? Amen. If he was in a mosque, he would have been removed quicker. If he was in a mosque, they would have hoist him up over their head. Put such a one out of your midst. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you that are watching, you was watching the dispute between me and a liar. He's an entertainer named Mr. Vegas, who's upset because he wants women to be naked because rappers love to see women naked so they can exploit them, have them on their videos, shaking their breasts, shaking their backside. And for some strange reason, he thought he could come here and run his mouth off and to all my viewers, no need to go write me and say, you didn't give him a chance to talk. The whole time he talked, I sat quiet. Didn't I do it? When it was my turn, I wanted to question him. When you know what you're talking about, you will answer the question, not keep running around the bush. We ask a question, answer it. There ain't no woman that exists before the word that would make her greater than God. I love my mother, but my God, man, I ain't gonna put her before God. All right, let's go to work in the Bible. 16th chapter of the book of Romans, and find what I want. All right, let's have it. Romans chapter 16. <clears throat> and we're at verse 17. Parliament. Now I beseech you, brethren. I beseech you, brethren. Mark them which cause divisions. Mark them which cause divisions. And offenses. And offenses. Contrary to the doctrine. The doctrine is God is the word. That's right. The doctrine is not woman is before the word. He thought the Bible began when it was printed. How foolish. The word had no beginning. Thank God in the word have no ending. What is it? Now I beseech you, brethren, mark now them. I beseech you, brethren. Mark them which cause divisions. Them. Mark them. Mark them. Mark them. Which cause division. And offenses. And offenses. Contrary to the doctrine. You see, when you stand for the truth, you got to fight everything. Paul said, I fought with beasts at Ephesus. Now I'm here in Jamaica, fighting with beasts after the manner of men. Beast spirit in them. Listen. Mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. And what? And avoid them. Do what? Avoid them. You see what a false prophet do? They try to invite the audience in what they say it, which prolong what they say it, but they never give Bible. Mm. That's why I tell the audience, be quiet. Don't even answer them. Don't even participate. Let them just run off at their mouth. We want Bible. The truth of God live and breathe Bible. I fight everybody with the Bible. I don't fight you with a word of mouth. And if you can't give Bible, then sit down. If you can't sit down, then go out. And if you don't go out, we'll remove you out. Let this be a warning to anybody that stepped in first church to challenge it at any time you think you can come in any of the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ and think you can take it over, be prepared to be picked up and ushered out. Amen. Put such a one 
out of your midst. All right, what is that? For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. What? They that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, you bring stuff contrary to the doctrine. You ain't serving the Lord Jesus Christ. The scriptures he got ain't got nothing to do with the subject. Nothing. All right. But their own belly. What? But for they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. But their own belly. Their own belly. And by good words. Wait a minute. By good works and fair speeches and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. When you try to talk about your mother, the whole purpose was to gain sympathy from the audience. My mother used to be a sinner, but when it comes to the Bible, I'm not moving for my mother. My wife used to be a sinner. But when it comes to the word of God, I'm not moving for my wife. Jesus had a mother named Mary. I believe what she said. Yeah. Mary said, whatsoever Jesus said, you do that. Do it. And Jesus says, search the scriptures. Yeah. I don't want him to search his mouth. Mm -hmm. I want him to search scriptures. Mm -hmm. So when any man come here to debate Pastor Jennings, I don't want your mouth. That's why I hound men and press them, asking for Bible. Some folks may say, well, why you do that? Because I know they're not going to give none. And I press them, yeah. hound them, stay on them. Mm. I want Bible. My God, man, if he would have gave Bible to justify women wearing makeup, or if he would have gave Bible, that his mother or my mother was here before God, I would have stood up, shook his hand, and said, you're right, I'm wrong. Glory to God, but when you go opposite from the Bible, I'll fight you all day and fight you all night. All right. Now I beseech you, brethren. He said our ancestors put on paint and gave them power. Paint don't give you power. The Holy Ghost gives you power. That's right. Bible says you shall receive power. After you paint your face? No, no. No, you shall receive power after you put on makeup? No, no. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you. That's right. Glory to God. I know many of you ain't never seen nothing like this. But that's what happened when the devil stepped in God's house. Someone said, Pastor Jennings, but that shouldn't happen in God's house. The Bible said there was war. Where? In heaven. Where? In heaven. It happened in heaven before it happened today. It happened in heaven before it happened here in Kingston. And if God threw out the devil, we are throw Vegas out. Being that Vegas is a child of the devil, we will do to him what the Lord done to his father. Well, I throw you out. There ain't no man coming in First Church. This ain't Charleston, South Carolina. This ain't no church where you think you can come in and hold us up. Yeah. Think you can come in here and act like a fool. And you think the love of Jesus is, well, we understand. We understand. No. When you get out of order, we're going to push you in order. Amen. 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 What did he say? Now I beseech you, brethren. Make sure you find what I want. All right. Now I beseech you, brethren. Now I beseech you, brethren. Mark them which cause division. Mark them. Mark them. Mark them. Mark them. Amen. They're going to take up all our television time with talk? No. This is supposed to be a Bible discussion. And when I ask for Bible, you're supposed to give it. 
when a man asks me for Bible, like Brother Evans, the last time I was here, Evans asked me for Bible. I cooperated and gave it. I asked Evans for Bible, he cooperated and gave it, but he gave the wrong scripture. But at least he tried to give Bible. Even when I debated in the nation of Islam, when I asked them for Bible, even they made an attempt to go get scripture. When I debated Rodney Muhammad and asked for Bible, Rodney Muhammad knew he didn't have no Bible. So he said, I ain't giving no Bible. And he walked out because he knew when I came up to the stage, I'm going to ask for Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 5 and at verse 13. Follow me. But them that are without, God judges. Them what? Them that are without, God judges. Them that are without, God judges. Therefore put away. Put away. From among yourselves. From among yourselves. That wicked person. What should we do with that wicked person? Put away from among yourselves. That wicked person. What did the love of God say? Put away from among yourselves that wicked person. Is that Bible? Amen. Did we obey that? It doesn't matter who don't agree with it. I have to follow that like I got to follow Acts 2.38. That's right. Don't ever let nobody come into the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ in Jamaica and think they can take over the church. You brothers... Put them out. Always keep order. Am I right, I said? I don't know what they think this is. You think you can come in first church of the Lord Jesus Christ and do all that talk and no Bible and use up our airtime? Just so you can say, I debated Pastor Jennings. That don't mean nothing. No. Only thing means something with us is Bible. What did the Bible say? Give but, chapter and verse. First Corinthians chapter 5 and at verse 13. Amen. But them that are without, God judges. They that are without. God judges. God's judgment. Therefore put away from they among that yourselves. Without, God judge. And what? Therefore put away from among yourselves. Put that, away. From among the church. That wicked person. That what? That wicked person. Was he wicked? Amen. What did the Bible tell us to do with him? Put away from among yourselves that wicked person. Like I said before, we're not afraid of nobody in the world. Amen. When you come to debate Pastor Jennings, come with Bible. Amen. Why bother my brother? Amen. Why bother my brother? Right. My brother's sitting here minding his business with the Bible open. Amen. Why attack him? The reason why he attacked him is to try to use up more time. Amen. We are about Bible. Amen. I don't want your mouth. We are about Bible. Amen. I don't want nobody's mouth. We are about Bible. That's right. And when a man gets up there talking, talking. The Bible says, prove all things. That's right. And then what it said? Amen. And all I did, everybody listen, all I did was wanting him to prove that it's all right for God women that are holy and saved and sanctified to wear makeup and jewelry and give me Bible to justify it and Bible where the woman exists well, for the word of God. It's for the word. It ain't no one living got Bible to justify neither. No. This is Bible talking, not Pastor Jennings. But them that are without God judges. Give chapter and verse. First Corinthians 5, still at verse 13. So if you get mad, get mad at the Bible. That's right. There's nobody going to stand here and keep talking and talking with no Bible. Right. Listen. But then that are without God judges. I'll be back in August. God willing, I'll be back in August. Amen. I'll be back in August 
And if there's anybody else in Jamaica got Bible where women, you got Bible? Do you got Bible? You got Bible that women, that we ain't dealing with nothing else. I don't want to hear nothing else. I don't want to hear nothing else. All I want is Bible where the women can look like Jezebel. Amen. That's what I'm dealing with. I want Bible. You raise your hand because you got Bible. What you want to debate me about? I don't want a lot. What you want to debate Pastor Jennings about? Assalamu alaikum, salaikum salam. What you want to debate, Pastor? You Sunni Muslim? You're a Muslim? All right, brother Muslim. What you want to debate, Pastor Jennings, about? He pork? All right, come on to the microphone. All right, get him a microphone quick. Get him a microphone quick. Now you better move quick. He swear they sold in the shamble. Right, first move. Got it. And the kingdom of God is not in me to drink. Right, you got it, Pastor. All right, brothers, don't move slow. Give the Muslim brother a microphone, please. Don't move slow. Give him a microphone, please. Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings, brother. Peace and blessings to you, too. What's taking you brother so long with a microphone? Down to my viewers, everybody sit down and be quiet. Everybody be quiet and pay attention. What's your name brother? Yes, brother yes, Rasul. Brother Rasul. Yes sir, brother Rasul, we thank you for being present. We're going to deal with Bible. All right? We're just going to deal with Bible. You can bring up Quran all you want, but I'm dealing with Bible. I'm not dealing with Quran. I'm dealing with Bible. Now, make sure his microphone is working. I don't want it in and out. Sound check. Because according to Islam, they're supposed to know how to product, conduct themselves, whether they're in church, mosque, or synagogue. Correct? All right? Now, you want to talk to me about pork. Brother Rasul, have the microphone. Peace to everybody that's here. First, first before I get into it, I want to say um, I'm glad to meet you. Pleasure to meet I, you too, brother. I, I, I respect you. I like what you teach. Yes, sir. I'm not here to get in an argument of who's right or who's wrong. Yes, sir. I'm here because I don't know everything. Right. I don't it. know everything and either. And I don't care where I learned it from. Only the creator knows true. all. As yes, long sir. as it's true. Yes, sir. The first time, the first time I turned on my TV and I saw your group on the TV, I was kind of mad. I, I thought he was the nation of Islam. Yes, most people do think. I thought, and I, and I started looking because the way you set up your, your congregation, dressed like the nation, everything, I thought it was the nation of Islam. Yes, sir. And before I get into it, let me, let me say this. Um, I'm a Muslim. The yes, nation sir. of Islam is something different. Yes, yes, it is. It's something different. I agree. So when you beat up on the Muslims or the nation of Islam, don't say it's the Muslims you beat up on. All right. You understand? Because I see some of your stuff, and I tell you the truth. You messed them up. All right. <laughs> you understand? Yes, sir. But that's not the Muslim. Yes, sir. In order to be Muslim, there's certain things we have to follow. I agree. Prayer, zakat, all of those things. We believe in one God. We don't believe in no other God. Yes, sir. No we, we believe in no. one God. You understand me? And we don't believe okay. in another but one. Okay. All right. No, my thing is the other day, I, I, I watch you a lot. Yes. I watch everybody because I like to learn. And I was one thing, and I heard a brother on the YouTube ask you, is it okay to eat pork? Yes. And you said yes. Yes. Very proudly, yes. Yes. Eat anything. God make nothing unclean. All right. Bless it and eat it. That's right. what I've been grown up. That's what I was raised yes. to teach myself. But the Bible tells me. Yes. 
In the beginning, when God created, I don't know the Bible like you. That's all right. Right? Ahead, I can't tell you about probably some things. I will ask you where it is. You can tell, I can quote it, but you can tell me where to find yes, it. Yes, sir. But anyway, when God created heaven and earth and the humans and all the things, he gave them instruction as to what to eat. Yes. And what not to eat. Yes. What to do, what not to do. Mm -hmm. You understand? Jesus. We you call Jesus, I call him Esau. Esau, yes, yes. Sir. We say the same. Right? Thing. But Jesus came and he said, Think not that I come to change the law. Yes. Think not that I come to change the law. What did he come to do? Pro um, fulfill it. Right. Or, or, or explain it to them when they know it, because they didn't understand it good. Well said. He Some of them explain. didn't understand it. So he came to explain it just like he did with the Sabbath. Yes. He explained it to them. Uh huh. Say, if something is happening, it's not by purpose that you broke the Sabbath, but there's an incident. So do the incident and continue the thing. Yes, Even sir. me, you probably know today is Ramadan. Yes, it is. You understand? And certain things can happen in accident that might cause me to slip up with my Ramadan, yes. but it won't be intentional. Right. So I keep going. All anyway, right. God said, don't eat the pork. Okay. By the split hoof and the chewing of the cord. Yes. He tells you what to eat and not to eat. Yes, and sir. one of them was the pork, yes. the swine. Right. Jesus said, which I accept as my prophet, yes, sir. that he didn't come to change any law. And any man change the law, it would be required of him. You might know the scripture better than I. Yes. Not heaven and earth shall pass away. But none of these scriptures, none of these words shall pass away. And you just said today, a, a little while ago, God don't make mistakes. Right. And I believe that. Yes. But then there came a man named Paul. Yes. Who... To this day, I cannot understand where he got his authority from oh. to change God's law. Do you believe that Paul changed God's law? Yes, I did. So, if God said don't do it and Paul said do it. If God said circumcise and Paul said don't circumcise. Do you believe? God, let me ask you something, Brother Russell. You believe, you said you don't know where Paul got his authority from? To change God's law. He didn't change it, but I do want to show you where he got his authority from. To change the law? He didn't change the law. He but I just he want... Did, he did, by, by his law, no, you can eat pork, and you no longer circumcise. It wasn't Paul's law. Did the Bible ever say it was Paul's law? The, God's law is to circumcise and right. don't eat pork. Right. That's God's law. All right, now, can Paul I help you? Paul says... Yes. You don't have to circumcise. Circumcise the heart. Yes. Paul says, eat the pork. God made nothing unclean. Yes. But when God created the animals, he told you yes. this is clean and this is unclean. Yes. When Noah was building the ark, yes, sir. he told them, gather, I think, seven of every kind. Seven, clean animals, seven of the clean and, and, put them in the ark. and the unclean by and two. Two of each kind of the unclean yes. and put them in the ark. But yet you say God made nothing unclean. No, I never said God didn't make nothing unclean. Well, Paul said it. He said, eat. God made nothing unclean. Bless All right. it. All right. Eat it. All right. Now, Brother Russell. First of all, let's see where Paul got his knowledge from. In the book of Galatians chapter 1, and we'll start reading at verse 11. Says what? But I certify you, brethren. That I certify you, brethren. That the gospel which was preached of me. The gospel, this is Paul preaching. Paul said the gospel that he preached. Is not after man. Now, if he said it's not after man, he let you know it didn't come from him either. Because, just a minute, because he's a man. All right. For I neither received it of man. And neither did he get his teaching of man. Neither was I taught it. Nor was he taught it. But by the revelation of Jesus Christ. It was revealed to Paul what to preach. So Paul got his message the same way the prophets got theirs. They got it by the self-same spirit, the one God of the universe. Now. Can I ask him? Yes, sir. If Paul got the same message that they, they got. Shouldn't it be the same message? Shouldn't it, if Paul got the message from God, yes. as the other prophets or apostles, yes. shouldn't it be the same message? It is the same message. No eat pork. I'm going to show you what. Circumcised. Yes. Shouldn't it be the same? It is the same. So we're, we're You just don't understand what it means. You eat pork? No. But I, I don't eat it because the Old Testament say I don't. I, eat, I don't eat it because I don't like it. What I mean? I don't eat beef. What I mean is that you you okay to be eating? I heard, I heard I'm gonna show you why. But, but, but isn't that change? No. Isn't that change? No. If God said don't do it. Listen, brother Rasul. Yeah. 
Let me explain what it meant, all right? Let me explain what the Old Testament meet to abstain from represent in the New Testament. Yes. You see, in the Old Testament, it was a lot of fleshy ordinances, commandments, fulfill the flesh for the satisfaction of the flesh. You offered up sacrifices. You ain't offering up sacrifices now. You're offering up lambs or you're offering up goats. But when you offered up the meat offering, it couldn't have a spot. It couldn't have a blemish. But yet we ain't doing it now because the Bible don't command for it to be done. Now, who changed that? God brought about change. Just a minute, let me answer you. The reason why, let me help you. Listen. There are things that God gave under the time of Moses that was good for Israel. We're not doing it now. They were baptized in the cloud, in the sea, under Moses. We ain't baptized in the cloud, in the sea, under Moses now. They took blood from an unspotted lamb, put it over the doorpost so the death angel can pass by. We're not putting blood of a lamb now over our doorpost, doorpost, yet we are covered by blood of a lamb. And that lamb is Jesus. I want to teach you. Now, the Old Testament pork, the Old Testament dietary law, the Old Testament was a shadow for the law. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, and we're at verse 1. Listen. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. Now, Brother Rasul, that's your shadow right on the, on the floor, correct? But is that actually you? You're the actual person. But that's the shadow. So Rasul would be the actual good thing to come. The shadow is not the real thing. But it looked like it. It moved like it. But it ain't the real thing. Listen at the Bible. Can oh, yes. ask, for the law. Yes, just a minute. Brother, yes, sir. Can I ask one question before you go into further? You believe in the Old Testament now? What came in the New Testament from the old we still hold? So, so, so that's what I'm saying. You don't no longer believe in the Old Testament. Oh, yes, I believe the Bible. Jesus says this: all things must be fulfilled. So, so you still you. accept the Old let Testament? Me, let me answer you, brother. Jesus said. All things must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. So there are many things in the Old Testament that did not come in the New Testament. Exactly, but it don't change. You said God Lord don't change. He don't make mistakes. All right. God don't change. And he don't make mistakes. Let me finish. God don't change, mm -hmm. but God changed things. Does he not? Yes, I would say that. Oh, does he not? But he's not going to change his law. Just a minute. If he changed his law, then something was wrong. No. Yes. Just if he changed his law, then he did something wrong. All and right. he didn't do anything wrong. All right. That's how I would look at Let, it. All right. Let's eliminate how you look at it. Mm. Because if you go by the law, can the law make you perfect? If I follow it. If I follow the law. The law can make you perfect. If I follow the law. All right, let's see what the Bible says about that. In the book of Hebrews chapter 8. Follow me. Yeah, I remember that. And right verse 7. Yes, follow me in the Bible. Follow me in the Bible. Hebrews chapter 8 and at verse 7. That's what? For if that first covenant had been faultless. If the first covenant had no fault. Then should no place have been sought for the second. Then it wouldn't be no place for the second. For finding fault with them. Finding fault fault with them. He says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, yes. when I will make a new covenant. You see, the Lord came and made a new covenant so with, with the house of covenant. Because God found so there fault. Was fault in the old covenant. There was fault in the people and what the people was following. Just, 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 just a minute. Just a minute, brother Rasul. There's no fault in God. I'm not talking about people, I'm talking about God's word. Was there fault? Can I, can I finish, brother? There's no fault in God. 
But many of the ordinances, let me answer you with Romans Bible. chapter 8. Says what? Romans 8 and at verse 3. Yes. For what the law could not do. Listen. There are certain things the law couldn't do. I'm not. Hold it. I don't want you to think I'm making this up. There were certain things the law could not do. The book said. For what the law could not do. The Bible says what the law could not do. In that it was weak. The law was weak. Through the flesh. Through the flesh. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful the flesh. The Bible says finding fault. Finding fault. Back in Hebrews chapter 8 and at verse 8. Says what? For finding fault with Finding them. fault with them. He saith, behold, the days come, the days saith the come, Lord. The days come, the Lord. When I will make a new covenant. You see, a new promise. What is the promised land for God's people now? Is it the land of Canaan? Or would it be New Jerusalem? Because you said that he didn't change nothing. According to the Bible, it would be Jerusalem. It was New Jerusalem, correct? According to the Bible. So a change was made. I never said God don't turn, change, change things. I no. agreed with you. I said the law that he gave. If he gave me a law as not to do, and then tell me later to do, that means that something was wrong in that. All right, now. That's, that's you know. Moses allow them to divorce their wife. Moses did, correct? I think so, yeah. But God says from the beginning it wasn't so. That's what God says. Moses. God says his real intentions was not divorce. In fact, God went as far as saying he hate divorce. But Moses, Moses. said you can divorce her. God, God said he hates it. Good point. Good point. Good point, brother. He hates it. Yeah, good point. So but then. God's intention, none of this is what we're going through. It was God's intention. What, none, none of, of what? None of this lifestyle, this whole living, the way we live on earth. Being on earth, living, sinful. We was created perfect with God. Yes. It was sin. So none of this, what we're living through today is what God ex God ex expected us to live with him in paradise right. as holy children of his. I agree. So all of this was mistakes of our own that caused all this to happen, to be on earth living like this. Right. So, as, as so a, I don't blame God for that. Right. I agree. You can't blame God for what we done. Right. But it don't change what God wants us to do to get right with him. Right. But so, it was not God's fault. I still can't understand this pork thing. If I, God said don't do it, let me explain there's it. no way later... Brother Russell. If you say, if you say, if you say to me, yes, sir. according to the Bible, yes, that I must be baptized yes. in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus Christ. I must be baptized. Yes, that's what the book and says. Some somewhere down the future, and that's what the book says. Yes. Somebody can't come and later and tell me, say, you don't have to be baptized in the name All of right, Jesus. All right, now hold it. Now, 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 you know what? You understand me, sir? I'm glad you made this big pastor come now yes. uh, and him say, cause him big and him, him say. You no longer have to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Now, but it's what's in the Bible. Right. Now, let, I'm so glad you say that because before the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ was here, let me help you. Right, the pork we're dealing with, you know, I just use that as an example. All right, all right. I, I, I'm, I'm going to get the baptism and then we're going to go back to Miss, to Miss Piggy. We, we'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> now, according to the book, there's three water baptisms. Three of them. Moses it was baptized in the cloud in the sea. God came along and changed it. Can't be baptized like that no more. John the Baptist come along. They was baptized into repentance. John said, I'm not the light, but I come to bear witness of the light. God done away with that. Now he come along and instituted the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, which is the last water baptism. God did away with all those baptisms? Oh, yes, because in the 19th chapter of the book of Acts, John's disciples was holding on to John's baptism. But when Paul came in town... That's the thing, Paul! No, 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 let me help you. Before Paul even came on the scene, the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ was already in place because Paul got baptized himself in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, you can't blame nothing on Paul. Paul said, do I persuade men or is it God? Paul. None of the writings... None of the preaching is Paul. The, the eating of pork is Paul. All right, let me... And don't circumcise is Paul. Circumcise is from God. Not eating pork is from God. Let, 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 let me prove to you otherwise. Don't eat Hold it. crabs and eat fish with scales. What do you want to deal That's with? You want to God. deal with pork 
and circumcision well, or just poor? Brother, to be honest with you, I, I, I just came to, 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 to try to get a DBA. I didn't come to DBA well, right now. Well, you got now. it now. Yeah, so I'm not really prepared, but it's pork. Well, that's one right, thing. let's deal with pork. Let's, deal let's with talk pork. about pork, all right? And now. the Paul, and Paul, because Paul is who, Paul is one who changed it to me. All right, all And right. Barnabas. All right, Not even Peter yes. wanted Paul around. All right, let me help it you. It was out. it was true persuasion and fear of Paul yes. that they accepted him. Yes. And even Barnabas didn't even want Barnabas left. All right. I don't want to be with because he's changing what Jesus taught. That's right. what Barnabas said so, in the Bible. So Paul spoke on his own accord. If he, yes, because he tells you to eat pork. Give me the book of Peter. He's gonna say he's God's word. But he's if you. Say, you know, you know, you, you said it today. Oh, you know what a false prophet is? Yes. Yo, you know what a false prophet is? Yes. The one who don't teach what the book says. Is Paul a false prophet? Yeah. He said eat pork. All right. All right. Yes. So, he said eat pork. He, said, he went against God. Brother, brother Rasul. Parent. He went against Christ. Brother he went against God. So he's a false prophet because he went against what Christ taught. Christ didn't change no law. He said, think not that I come to change the law. But Heaven and earth shall pass away before one of these laws Brother pass Rasul. away to fulfill it. Brother Rasul. Yes, sir. The Muslims look to get in paradise, correct? I hope we all do. Is paradise the kingdom of God? That would be the kingdom of God to us, correct? Yeah, yeah heaven, heaven. You all call right. it say so heaven, we say paradise. Is heaven based upon meat and drink? No, I don't think so. My local knowledge, no. It isn't? Not my knowledge. Then why are you hung up on it? Because I'm on earth. All right. Earth, I'm doing the earthly thing. All I right. don't think in heaven they eat meat and them, something like that. Let's see I don't know. What the kingdom of God is not. Listen Romans up. chapter 14. Listen, Listen, I'm upon it, you know. Wait the book minute. said, right. eat, don't eat. Brother Rasul. Let's Married go. if you want to have sex. The book gives me a guideline how to live. Exactly. And I'm going to stick with the book, How to Live. Now just let me read. All right. Romans chapter 14 and at verse 17. Listen. For the kingdom of God is Wait not. Wait a minute. What? For the kingdom of God. Paradise. Heaven. Is what? Is not me. Heaven don't have nothing to do with your diet. That's right. It have nothing to do with what you eat. And drink. And it don't have nothing to do with what you drink. But righteousness. But it have to do with living right. And peace. And having peace. Salam. And joy in the Holy Ghost. And joy in God. Amen. Heaven, paradise, have nothing to do with your diet. I agree. Right here. I, ag I agree. In so, heaven. Your diet is for you on right, earth. But wait a minute. But before you get what God gave, what the Lord that God gave is for us to live on earth, not in paradise. But brother Rasul, yeah. before you can get to paradise, you got to live by something right here, correct? That, that's right. So therefore, for me to get there, the Bible is plainly telling me how to live. How to live where? On earth. All right. So what? What? what has how to, to eat? Well, how to deal with the woman? Don't have sex. You want to have sex? Exactly. Married one. It give you a, a guide yes. for everything. It don't say do as you eat. Eat anything. You can't eat anything. Pastor. So the kingdom of God is for, not what? For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. For, for wait a minute. I'm Before I can earth. get there. Yeah. Before I can get there, what I do down here has to do with me getting there. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So therefore, the meat and drink down here mm. don't have nothing to do with me getting up there. Yes, it does. Because no, it if you, if you, if you, if you, in, in, if you polluting yourself yes. with filth, yes. with filth, then you forbid your temple. Holy. Yes. Or try to make it holy. Yes. You understand? And we don't put unholy things in All right. unrighteous, Give me first Timothy unrighteous things according to what God says. You're going to tell me what Paul says. No, no, I'm not. I'm telling you what the Bible says. First Never Timothy. mind Paul. Never mind Paul. The Bible says this. All scriptures are given by the inspiration of God, not by the inspiration of Paul. It says all scripture. Let me finish. But if Paul is teaching something different, that's not from God. Listen. Pastor, I respect you. Brother Rasul. If you tell me, if you telling me yes. that this is from God and you give it to me. Use, use Father, the microphone, there's, Brother Rasul. There's many things. Yes, sir. Many things. I watch you all the time. Yes, sir. That you agree. I agree with you. Yes, sir. I shake your hand. I say, yeah, Bab. I love that, brother. Yes, sir. More than any pastor out here, you're doing a good job. Let me shake your hand for you. Yes, you're doing sir. a Thank good you, job. Sir. A very good job. Thank you, sir. You understand? You're against these homosexuals and the way we should dress men or female or addressing the homosexuality that's taking over Jamaica? Yes, sir. You understand? You're, 
I, I love the way you preach. And you're against all these fake pastors that's taking people money. Yes, sir. And doing their own things with it. I respect you. I have a lot of respect for you. But the Bible, where you go against preaching, I say, I'm a Muslim. I don't ex I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't expect res um, respect the Bible fully, not 100%, because I believe it's polluted. Yes, most Muslims don't. Yeah, we believe it's been tampered with. Mm -hmm. New version, new version, new version, new version. But where there is truth, we accept it. Yes. And no Muslim can deny the Bible, or else he can't be a Muslim, because it's the Bible that's guide you to Islam. It's the Bible that guides you to Prophet Muhammad. Well, why would you believe something that you believe is polluted? No, no, no. I said I don't. Listen to me. I said I don't believe. I just tell you I don't believe the Bible 100. But there is truth in the Bible. Okay. There is truth. All right. You understand? And you have to be able to accept that truth. And you ask Allah for, for guidance and accepting that truth. All right. And I can't get the understanding, no matter how I pray, yes. that I should eat pork where God tells me don't. He said don't. He don't make mistakes. He don't change his law. And you're, right. you're telling me to accept, no, that it's changed. Now I'm going to deal with scripture, okay? Yeah. Give me scripture that God changed the law, I'm, not I'm, Paul, I'm not about, Paul. I'm never mind Paul. Yeah. This has nothing to do with Paul. Let's get scripture. Listen. First Timothy chapter 4, we're starting at verse 1. All right. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly. Wait a minute. It says the Spirit speak expressly. And we must agree there's only one spirit and God is that spirit. God is the spirit. God is the spirit, the creator no of the spirit. universe. No other spirit, just and God. The, and the scripture is plainly saying the spirit is speaking, not Paul. Speaking to who now? Who is he, he speaking to? He's speaking to the world. Okay. The word of God is for the world. All right, listen. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. The latter times are the last days and we must agree these are the last days now. They're going to depart from the faith, meaning they're going to leave the belief of God. All right? Giving heed to seducing spirits. They're going to give heed and be seduced by other spirits. And, and doctrines of devils. Oh. Now the Bible says doctrine of devils mean the teachings of the wicked. And now the Bible going to specifically itemize what are the teachings of the wicked if it's taught today. And remember... It ain't never said Paul speaking. Spirit speaking. It said the Spirit is speaking. You and I agree the Spirit is God. All right. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Having speaking lies. In hypocrisy. And hypocritic. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. All right. Forbidding to marry. That's one false teaching if you teach today. They forbid to marry. And, and what else they teach today? And commanding to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving. Who said that? The Spirit speaketh expressly. Come on over here. First Timothy chapter four. Everybody be quiet. I want Brother Russell to hear it. First Timothy chapter four, we'll start again at verse one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. At verse three, forbidding to marry uh -huh. and commanding to abstain from meats, uh -huh. which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Who said that, Paul or the Spirit? The Spirit speaketh expressly. Right, Do you agree right with that? Paul write that. Paul didn't write that. That's Timothy. That's Paul. Paul. No, the Bible says who's talking. The Spirit speaketh can expressly. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I get him to read a verse for me? Yes. I don't even. I help you. Wait, Genesis. what do you want him to read? Genesis, the beginning I got to but do you? Bible. But sure, do you agree with that? Because the Spirit said it, not Paul. Do you agree with the Spirit? Because you said it's God. Now, do you agree with God? Brother, brother, I agree with God. I agree with the Spirit. There are letters that Paul wrote to the churches. On his own? You're going to say it's the spirit. But I can't. Where did Paul come from? He just popped out of nowhere. He, Paul, he did. who was crucifying Christians, killing the Christians. Yes. He just came out of nowhere on his road to Damascus. Uh -huh. And a lightning saw he, Je Jesus, this is what I want to know. Jesus, yeah. when he was leaving, that, see what I'm trying to, if you can give me the authority of Paul, I can accept Paul. If you can give me where his authority come from. Jesus said to his disciples. I have a pretty to make you a minister of the 19th chapter of the book of Acts. I'm going to give you Paul authority. Hold it right there. 
You asked me to give you where Paul authority came from. Yeah. The ninth chapter. Read quick. Let's see where Paul authority came from. Amen. The reason why God appeared unto him for this purpose. For this purpose. Come on, man. You got to move quick now. What are you reading over the chapter of what? The book of Acts of the Apostles. So Paul. Paul is justifying himself. No. Wait, wait, no, no. Paul. Somebody else have to justify you. Paul. The prophets justified Jesus. Paul. You understand? The prophets Listen. justified Moses. Brother Russell. Just Acts just... chapter 26. Brother Russell. I'm going to give you script. Listen, Brother yeah. Russell, just a minute, just a minute. I'm going to give you scripture mm -hmm. where Paul got his authority but from. But he's saying that. No, Who, he's not. Who's backing it up? Paul did. Who's backing it up? God is. I'm going to prove it. Let me prove it. Barnabas, Acts who was Barnabas? 26. Who was Barnabas? Just a minute. Barnabas rejected him. Just a minute. Peter, which is the foundation, Just a minute. rejected him. Brother Russell, yeah. you asked me to prove to you where he got his authority from, my brother. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let me do it? Go ahead, brother. All right, let me do it. Acts chapter 26, and we'll start at verse 15. What's that? He said you like that? Yeah, I like You it. like the way the scriptures is? I like what they want. I can have it? Yes. Uh, it's not mine. Who Bible is that? He wants to know, can he have it? Yes, you can have it. Really? Yes, you can have it. Okay, I will take it. All right. Yeah. All right. I want to show, I want to show Brother Rasul where Paul got his authority from. Amen. All right. Acts chapter 26, and we started verse 15. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? I said, who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou persecutest. Yes. But rise and stand upon thy feet. Rise and stand on thy feet. For I have appeared unto I thee. I have appeared. Unto thee. Unto thee. For this purpose. For this reason. To make thee a minister. To make thee a minister. And a witness. And a witness. Both of those things which, which thou hast seen, and of those things into which I appear unto thee. Did Paul get his authority from God? Delivering them from the people. Did Paul get his authority from God? And from the Gentiles. Did Paul, Brother Brasso, mm -hmm. just answer me. According to what he read, did Paul get his authority from God? Because God said, I appeared unto thee to make thee a minister. Did God... I'm going to answer. I'm not afraid to answer you. Yes. Paul got his authority from God according to the scripture, according to what Paul says. Paul didn't write that. Who wrote that? Paul wasn't even an apostle yet. Hold on a minute. That story is telling you how he was made. So let me ask his question then. When Jesus said, when Jesus said at the last supper yes. with his disciples. Yes. And, and, and thank you, brother. You may, I was kind of scared of you. With you don't you have deal, to be scared, brother. The way you deal with Vegas, but you deal with me the pretty good. The only reason why I dealt with Vegas right. like that is because right, Vegas, <laughs> Vegas is unrolling. All right. Let's and you it. must admit, if he would have been in the mosque, the mosque would have dealt with them more roughly than that. <laughs> Am I right, Russell? <laughs> you know I'm telling the truth. That's why you're laughing. <laughs> but, um, yes. yes, back to, to, to Jesus now. Yes. The Last Supper. Yes. Jesus was going away. And he said to his disciples, yes. he said, fear not. I might get That's a little right. wrong, but you fix it That's up for right. me. He said, fear not that I should leave you, because I, I got to go. Yes. And if I don't go, the comforter can't come. Yes. And he said, when I, and he said, when I leave, listen to this carefully, you know, it's your Bible. Yes, sir. He said, when I leave, you shall see me no more. Yes. Never again. Yes. But did they see him again? Hold on a minute now. Then there's a contradiction. No, it's not. He said, when I leave, you shall see me no more. Oh, I'm so... Never, ever again Brother until Russell. that last day. Uh, he Brother said, Russell. so how Paul see him? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, how did Paul see him, let, brother? Let me he help. told him, say, oh. you can't see me no more. You see? Anything you want, ask the Father. In my name, yes. and he, the Father, yes. will give it. I'm done. My work is done. Yes. Son, you not see me again. I'm so glad. So, old Paul, buck him up. Are oh, you going to let me help you? Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, your God, turn, your because turn. Because I, I understand what you quoted so perfectly, and I'm going to break it down and make it plain. Now, when he said, you shall see me no more, but yet they saw him after his resurrection. Did, no, did, no, no, no. The resurrection was first, before that. No, no, no. No, it wasn't. The last, the last All right, let me help you. You're right, you're right, you're right, so, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're he's right, told right. his disciples right. it was before his crucifixion. Yeah, you're right. He said, right. I go away. Right. If I go right. not away, the comforter will not come. Mm -hmm. 
He that said, and when I go, you shall see me. No more. The last no, one was before no more. the crucifixion? Oh, yes. It was before. Well, I, just, I just learned something. So, now, yeah, he said, you shall see me no more. After he rose from the dead, he was seen again. So now the question is, what did Jesus mean when he said, you shall see me no more? There's something about Jesus that would be never seen again. Something about him. And what is now, that? let me help you. I want to give you a revelation. Let's read where he said, you shall see me no more. In the and then I want the 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians. First Corinthians. Follow me. Follow me. I want to help Brother Russell. In the book of St. John, chapter 16. And we'll start reading at verse 8. All right, read quick. And when he was come, he will reprove the world of sin. Yes. And righteousness and of judgment. Of sin, because they believe not on me. Of righteousness... Because I go to my father. I go to my father. And ye see me no more. Wait a minute. You see me how? And ye see me no more. Now, Brother Rasul, the Bible don't contradict itself. Yeah. The problem is we lack understanding. So if we lack understanding and lack revelation, then it sounds like the Bible contradicts itself. So I lack understanding. You lack understanding. That's why I'm going to help you hold right on now. Me, hold on a minute. So the only person that have understanding, I have to have this. Holy Ghost or something? Uh, that, that's how I get understanding? The Holy Ghost? I'm asking. That's why I lack understanding? I don't have the Holy Ghost? The Bible says no man mm -hmm. can say Jesus Christ is Lord except by the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You need the Holy Spirit because the revealer of truth is Almighty God. So I'm asking you now, Pastor. Yes, I'm sir. a Muslim. Yes, sir. I don't have the Holy Ghost. You, I know you don't. So You need the Holy Ghost. So wait a minute. So I can't get the understanding of God. You can get the understanding if someone teaches I don't, you. I can't understand what I'm going through. You can understand what you're going through, but we're mm. not, you may understand some things. You're what, going what, is it, what is it that brought me to the... I don't accept Christianity. I don't either. But I accept God. So do I. What is it that brought me there to accept that there is a God, one God, without having the Holy Ghost? Faith, Without being baptized. Let me, let me explain. Because you heard something that you believe. And the scripture says, faith come by hearing. Mm -hmm. Hearing by the word of God. Now let me, let me, hold it just a minute. But you just tell me, say, I have no understanding. You're not, you're not understanding what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're right, I don't. That's why you're I'm right. trying to help you. <laughs> I don't. So let me help you understand it. All right, let's straighten it out. Jesus said, you shall see me no more. You agree to that, correct? That's what he said. The 15th chapter of 1 Corinthians, begin at verse 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, we'll start at verse 1. That's what? Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. All right. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received. That what? How that Christ died for Christ our sins. Christ died sin, for our sins. According to the scriptures. According to the scriptures, Christ died, right? And that he was buried. According to the scripture. And he was buried according to the scripture. According to the scripture. All right. And that he rose again the third day. He rose again the third day according to the scripture. According to the scripture. All right. And that he was seen of Cephas. Wait a minute. After he rose, he was seen of Peter. Then of the twelve. Then the twelve disciples saw him. After that. After that. He was seen of above 500 brethren at once. About 500 above. More than 500 brethren saw him at one time. Of whom the greater part remain unto this present. Then what? But some have fallen asleep. And then some died. After that. After that. He was seen of James. James saw him. Then of all the apostles. Then all of his apostles saw him after his resurrection. And last of all. Last of all. He was seen of me also as of one born out of due time. And yet Jesus said, you shall see me no more. No, let me, let me I, I know. I want to say this. I did acknowledge that. Uh, you taught me something there. I didn't know that the, 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 the Last Supper, the Last Supper, you know, uh, you don't have to clap. When, I'm, when you're right, you're right. I didn't know that the Last Supper was before the crucifixion. Yes, the Last Supper so was before. I had that mixed up. Yes. You understand me? Yes, sir. I had that mixed up where he said, you shall see me no more. I thought it was after the crucifixion. No, when sir. When he had the last, wasn't there a meal he had after the crucifixion? What's that now? Wasn't there a meal he had with them after the crucifixion? After the Wasn't there a gathering? Yes, after he rose, mm -hmm. he appeared to his apostles. Didn't they have some meat on a table and, and, and meal and talk? Was, and he appeared unto them. And I'm so glad you brought that up 
because this goes back to what you said, you shall see me no more. You mm -hmm. see, when he told his apostles that, he was flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. He was flesh and blood. Yeah, they blood yeah, it was, was yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. But after he rose, mm -hmm. he didn't have no blood. What, what he died? Because he was still flesh and blood. He, he, they saw him? If they saw him, he was still flesh and blood. Because if he was a spirit, they couldn't see him. Let me finish. I agree. He was not a spirit. Okay. But he was flesh and bone. But there was no blood. Because the Bible said they pressed him in the side, out came blood and water. He shed his blood on the cross. Now, when he came to his disciples, he didn't knock on the door. The book says he appeared. Door is being shut. And you know, and I know, no natural human being can appear and disappear. No, but if you see, if you see that being, it's not a spirit. Can you see a spirit? No, that's you what can't? I just said. No, you can't. All right, see let me help can you, you with that. Can you see a spirit? By, by the help of God, yes, you can. You can see a spirit? If it be God will, you can. I'm going to prove it to you. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Let, let me hold help on, you. Hold on a minute, hold on, hold on a minute. Joe. Let, me, let me say this. I said a spirit. Yes. We, we Muslims, Joe, yes. we the Muslims, yes. believe yes. that Gabriel came to Muhammad. He was a spirit. Yes. But he manifests himself. He had to manifest himself out of the spirit into flesh for Prophet Muhammad to see him. Now, so if, if the spirit, if the spirit, be if, quiet, if, please. If Christ appeared here to you today, yes, for you to see, for you to see him, he has to put on flesh. Let me help you. Let me help you. Just a minute. The spirit don't eat. The spirit don't get tired. It don't drink. I agree. It is not flesh. You but cannot see it. Would you not agree? With God, all things are possible? All things is possible. All right. So, let me explain something to you. I'm going to show you in the book. Now, when you use the term, he has to manifest himself. Yes. If the word the manifest just simply means to be seen. Yes. So, you cannot see a spirit. Let me, let me finish. The spirit, by the power of God, can show himself without being flesh. No, 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 no. Not to the, not let to me, the human. Let me prove because it. Because he has to come to me in my human characteristics right. so I can understand it. So I can, I'm not in heaven. Let me straighten you out. Where the spiritual realm is. Can I give you Bible? Job chapter four, and we'll start at verse 13. Uh, let me help, let me help you. Job. Chapter four. Chapter four. We'll start at verse 12. And please don't say this is Paul. This is the Old Testament. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Job chapter 4, and we're starting at verse 12. Follow me. Now a thing was secretly brought to me. A thing was secretly brought to me. And mine ear received a little thereof. My ear got information from it. And thoughts from the vision of the night. What was it? When deep sleep falleth on men, uh -huh. fear came upon me, and trembling which made all my bones to shake. The prophet said, I became afraid, and my bones began to shake. Then a spirit... Passed before my face, the hair of my flesh stood up. And if he saw it, it manifested itself. That's what I'm saying. But the Bible never said it manifested itself it, as flesh. But Pastor Jenny, Pastor Jenny, listen. I know, hold on, the, hold on. He, the holy God that made the universe can do anything. Can do anything. Yeah. And listen, I'm gonna show you again where two prophets appeared, and they were not flesh. And they came to Jesus. I'm gonna show you that. But if they saw, if he saw them. No, you can't add to the book no, and I'm say not. if something was done because then you listen. As a Muslim, mm -hmm. you must bear witness that Almighty God can do anything. Yes, and you can't limit God down to your we, understanding. We can't. We can't. So God, I can't understand. God that. can make something appear yes. and manifest that thing yes. without it being human. That is true. But Pastor, Pastor, can I ask you this? Yes, sir. If God, this is why I don't even, like, well, that's another topic, they're talking in tongues. But if God wants me to understand something, yes. or bring it something to me, yes, sir. it has to come to me in my realm, yes. what my understanding. Because it's for me to understand, it has to come in a world, it has to come into my world. And, and it has to be seen with my understanding of the world that I can grasp it. Uh -huh. He can't bring it to me spiritually. Wait a minute. We, we, listen to what you just said. Christ. You say he can't do it? Well, listen, I wouldn't understand it. He can't. That's not what I mean. I wouldn't understand it. 
The, the if disciples, God wants you to understand something, Brother Russell, he can make you understand the disciples whatever question, he The disciples was questioning Christ. Don't say what God can do, brother. All right. Don't all do right, that. All right, all right, all right, all right. I agree with you. When the disciples was questioning Christ, yes. and they, they was questioning about signs and wanting to know, he said, there's many things I want to tell you, but I can't tell you because you're not ready for that. Yes. In other words, it's not your brain. It's not, you can't understand. If I, it would be like foolishness to you. Yes. So if God wants to speak to me, yes. or anybody in this, he has to come with, with the earthly things that understand it. I know one and one and two. Yes. In, in, let's say in the spiritual world, one and one is three. He can't bring that to me. Right. Because I, can't, I have to understand it in my All right. circle. You understand me? Yes, sir. I, uh, yes, sir. But I still want to help you and prove to you, you can see a spirit. Uh, after you read that, I want Exodus. Exodus. Because... God is not a man, correct? Not a man. God is not flesh and blood. That's why that's how you know that's why I tell you, know who's a Muslim. God is not flesh and blood, correct? So, if anybody see God, will they be looking at flesh and blood or will they be looking at a spirit? I don't believe nobody see God. I'm glad you said that. I know you didn't. That's why I want to show you. They see manifestation of God. I see the manifestation Listen. of God. That's why I accept him. No. But I've never seen God. All right. I can see his manifestation in his earth. Yes. In his food, in, you, his, in his laws, in everything, I'm in his trees, in the birds, in a coconut. I look at a jelly coconut I, and I can see manifestation I wanna of God. Take you on a, but I don't see God. I want to take you a journey. Not even Moses saw God. I want to take you on a journey <laughs> out of the earth. Will you, you want to go with me? <laughs> Let's do it. We're here to learn. You know, right. I'm here to learn. Yes, I want to take you out of the earth. Glory, take God right into heaven. Finish Job, and then give me the book of Exodus. Job chapter 4. Everybody all right? Listen at this. Job chapter 4 and read verse 15. Yes. Then a spirit passed before my face. A spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. And what? It stood still. He saw the motion of the spirit. He saw the function of the spirit. You can't see the spirit with the naked eye. The spirit of God has to come upon you or deal with you so God can manifest himself to you. I'm not saying you can see the spirit of God with the naked eye, but God can allow his spirit to overshadow you and come over you where you can see the spirit of God in front of you by the will of God. I do that every day. Without him being flesh. I do that every day, the without manifestation. Without him being flesh. I see that every day in the manifestation of God, but not God. That's what the, I said. All right, I'm going to show you. Come on. Then a spirit passed before my face. Yes. The hair of my flesh stood up. Real quick. It stood still. But I cannot discern the form thereof. All right, let's leave that off and go into heaven. I want Exodus. Exodus chapter 24, and at verse 9, at verse 8. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people, and said, Behold the blood of the covenant which the Lord has made with you concerning all these words. Now Exodus chapter 24, and at verse 9. Yeah. Then went up Moses. Then went up Moses. And Aaron. Aaron. Nadab. Nadab. And Abihu. Abihu. And 70 of the elders of Israel. And what happened? And they saw the God of Israel. And they. Wait. The God of Israel is not a man. I don't tell you, they never saw God of Israel. Is that they a lie? Manifestation. The Bible. God told them, God even told Moses, say, You can't see me. See the bush over there, sir? Yes. You see the bush? And say, You can't see me. It's many. My glory is too good. You see, but you see that bush? I go and give you just a little bit of my manifestation yes. to the bush. And that's what it, and the bush burn up. Yes. In the Quran, in the Quran, he said, God, when, when Prophet Muhammad asked him, he said, You can't. He said, Look at that mountain. Yes. And when he put his manifestation on the mountain, uh -huh. the mountain melted, crushed. Yes. You but understand? Listen, the God that I serve mm -hmm. can do anything. Anything. Anchor. But he don't do things that's not. That's you not see, the, that's not... What, what you're trying to it, tell me God can't do? He don't do things that don't fit. God don't do wrong, all right? Is that's it, what I'm trying to is say. Is it wrong? It have to fit. Is it wrong? No, I say God don't no, do wrong. No, I know, but is it... He's not unholy. He can't do unholy things. It, is it unholy if God... No, I didn't say that. I'm I trying to ask that. you a question. Yeah. Is it unholy if God appeared to a man? Is that unholy? If God choose to appear to a man? Don't think about it because everything yeah, that God do is I, right. I have to think about it. They are not, the here all, on earth, here on earth? Here on earth. Would it be an unholy act by the creator if he choose to appear to a man? I'm not going to say unholy, you but I don't, I, I, I don't think it would happen. All right, let me show you where I don't it, say unholy. Let me show you where I don't it think happened. it would happen. And they saw the God of Israel. They saw the God of Israel. And there was under his feet, as it were, a paved work of a sapphire stone. 
and as it were the body of heaven in its clearness. Yes. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel, he laid not his hand. Yes. Also they saw God and did eat and drink. They saw God and Israel was eating and drinking. There's many manifestations to God. In order to see God, one has to be in the spirit. I'm going to show you that in the fourth chapter of the book of Revelation. Revelation. And begin at verse 1. Revelation chapter 4 and at verse 1. Says what? After this I looked. After this I looked. And behold, a door was opened in heaven. Well, well, all right. Now, he ain't looking on earth. The door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was, as it were, of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither. And what? And I will show thee things which must be hereafter. He said, I'm going to show you. Telling John, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. What happened to John? And immediately John I was, was in the spirit. Earth. Just a minute. Listen, listen brother right. Russell. Yeah, Before listening. you can get an understanding, you got to listen. Yeah, I'm listening. And immediately I was in the spirit. Right then. But John wasn't in the spirit. John was taken to heaven when he was showing all those things. The Bible didn't say he was taken to heaven. He was it, taken. No, it didn't say that. Where was and he immediately Where I was, was in taken? the spirit. Was taken. No, it didn't say that. Where did he go? He was right here on earth and the spirit came on, upon him on earth to show him what was in heaven. So when he, when, he looked, when he looked and saw the, the, the person sitting on the throne and on the right side of and heaven, he was there. Nope. What, where was he? Right here on earth. But he was seeing it. He was looking at it. And okay, immediately, well, thing. I, thing. and immediately I was in the spirit. He was what? In the spirit. That's the secret right there. Spirit came a hold on him. Mm -hmm. And then what happened when he got in the spirit? And behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. Wait a minute, how many did he see? And, and one sat on the throne. He wasn't in heaven because the Bible said no man had to send it up into heaven at any time. any time. But he that came down, John wasn't in heaven. John is flesh and blood. Let me ask you, sir, you believe that God is holy? Oh, yes. Righteousness, yes. 100%. Yes. And see, we Muslims, we don't believe that righteousness and unrighteousness mix. We don't think it mix. I agree. You understand? We don't think that holy and holy mix. I agree. We don't think that, uh, let me not say we, I don't think that God at any time appeared on this earth because this earth is an unholy place. This earth is an unholy place. Can I stop you right there? As far as God is concerned. All right, can I stop you right there? So what you're saying? There's seven heavens, Nick, Nick, and the lowest he comes to the first. Brother, Brother Rasul, can I stop you? Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is, if something is unholy, God is not there. Not there. All right, if that's the case, if that's the case, if that's the case, mm -hmm. when the devil was in heaven, mm -hmm. was the Lord there? The devil was not unholy that time. At that time, the devil, the, the devil, it was when, when there was he, war, when he, in when, war in heaven. When there was war in things. heaven, come on, things. brother Russell. Yeah, hold on, pastor. there was war in heaven. Pastor, you're, you're quoting Bible to me. I'm really got to the remember, quote Bible, yeah, but Jay. you have to remember, say, I'm not a fully Bible man. But you just said where God is, yeah, is God in you? Come on, brother Russell, you're a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Yeah, I'm not going to talk like any foolish Muslim. Is, is, not, is, the, all, is no, no. God in the you? The breath of life is in me. God the, gave me his breath of life. Right, God gave God you. is not in me. Job not chapter in no. The breath of life which God has given me is in me. Who is, is the breath me. of life? It came from God. Who is it? It came from God. But the breath God? of life came from God. God is not me. Me. I me, agree. He's me, not I you. will tell you myself. I'm, I'm corrupt. I agree. I'm unholy. But the breath that's in you, and who is God it? God doesn't dwell within me. He I don't? have to get holy. Job. When I get holy. All right. Let you me understand? You have to be holy. All right, let me show you. Become, you become, we're here to live a life Brother to become. Rasul, let, you understand? let me show you who is the breath that's in your nostrils. No, I told you, the breath of life, God gave me life. He, he breathed into my father, yes. which is Adam, yes. the breath of life. Yes. That's what he gave him. Was, he didn't say he went into Adam. He gave Adam, he made Adam, and he gave him the breath of life to make him a living soul. So, Brother Rasul, the breath in your nostrils, mm -hmm. Is that the Lord? If God was in me, I would do no wrong. If God is in anyone, they would do no wrong. I disagree, and I'm going to prove you otherwise. Listen. Jo Job chapter 27, and we're at verse 3. Job 27 and verse 3. All the while my breath is in me. All the while my breath is in me. And the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God. Is in my nostrils. Is in my nostrils. Yes, God the gave me life. Of God, spirit of God. And there's only one spirit. 
Pastor Jennings, Pastor Jennings, if the breath, if God was in all these parts, they wouldn't be robbing poor folks. Jakes or TD Jakes. We're not talking about no, them. No, I'm just telling you, people wouldn't act unrighteous if God was in them. So a person that have God, he won't do no wrong? No, he won't. The if a person, can I ask you a if question? a person have God in him, yes. If a per, I'm not saying a righteous person. Yes. I'm saying if a person have God, if God dwells within a person, like I will say, yes. God dwell in Jesus. Yes. Like I will admit, God dwelt in Jesus. Yes. There was no wrong. Was God in Moses? Yes. Did Moses do wrong? No. Let's prove otherwise. What wrong did he do? I'm going to show you. What wrong? I'm about to show you. Tell me. I'm about Wait, to show kill, you. He killed a man? I, no, no, no. That's no, self-defense. No, no, I'm not talking about that. He I'm not even going. Yes, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Let me show you where, would you agree disobedience is wrong? If the Lord tells you to do something and you do something else, is that wrong? Yeah, of course. All right. Give me where God. Numbers. Give me. Now, everybody listen. Numbers chapter 20. I'm going to show you what Moses done wrong. You know, we went totally off the topic where we are talking about. Yeah, we'll get back to pork if you like. Go ahead, take God. I'm going to show you where Moses done wrong. Amen. Because he agreed that if the Lord tell you to do something and you do otherwise, you done wrong. All right? Numbers chapter 20, and we're starting at verse 7. That's right. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, The Lord spake to Moses, saying, Take the rod. And take the rod. Take the rod. Take the rod. And gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother. Yes. And speak ye unto the rock. Now Israel was thirsty for water, and they needed to drink. And God told Moses, speak ye, to the rock. And speak ye unto the rock. Speak to the rock. Before their eyes. Before the what? Before their eyes. In the presence of the people. And it shall give forth his water. You speak to the rock. Water will come out of it. And thou shalt bring to them water out of the rock. So shalt thou give the congregation and their beasts drink. But what did Moses do? And Moses took the rod from before the Lord as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. Yes. And he said unto them, Here now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice. But what did God tell Moses to do? Speak ye unto the rock. But what did Moses do? He smote the rock. God told Moses to speak to the rock. Moses did. He took his rod and hit the rock twice. And the water came out. Yes, he was disobedient. But the water came out. Because God gave mercy on his people. You hear, hold on a minute. You said he disobeyed God. Yes, he did. And he did it. And it still did the job. He did so it. So he actually wasn't disobedient. Yes, he was. Because he wouldn't do it. The no, job no, wouldn't get done. What did he say? The job now wouldn't have get done. chapter 20 and at verse 12. Well, Listen. Go, and the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, because ye believe me not, to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, what happened? therefore ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. The Bible said they didn't believe him. Moses and Aaron, it isn't written. God said, because you did not believe me. So if God told him to speak to the rock, and he smote it, he done wrong. So why God let him get the water? God let him get the water because of the condition of his people. God loved his people, and because he's faithful, and, what, and he promised that his people would not be lacking, he gave them water to drink. Brother Rasul, I'm going to have to quit. It's a pleasure to have you, sir. God bless you. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Brother. All right. I'm going to quit. Give me the correct time. Give me the correct time, please. What? All right. You heard the word of God. Let's close out with Acts 2.38. Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Brother Rasul, you got this to obey, too. You got, you got to do this. Repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. No, you may not do it, but God requires it. Remember, I know a Christian. The Bible you follow. I don't follow the Bible. Never I don't mind. follow the I don't follow the Bible. Let's follow what God The Bible God said. tricked me all my life. It taught me to follow a white man and a dead. I'm not following a white man. I'm not following no white man. You understand? I go to something else. I'm not following. I understand. I understand that there is truth 
in the Bible. Yes, sir. There is truth in a lot of what you say. Yes, sir. You understand? So I accept truth no matter where I'm it going, is. I, I, and I'm you going to bring you the I just come to, to try to explain. I still disagree with you eating a pork. I know you do. Can I ask you one question before I go? All right. Why did Barnabas and Peter reject Paul? Answer that for the cross. The reason why Barnabas and Peter rejected, rejected Paul. If he was a man of God, I'm, sent by God, let, let, they rejected him. The reason, they wanted nothing to do with him. The reason why they rejected him because they were judging Paul by his past reputation. But shouldn't let God me, have, let me explain. I told him, say, listen, this is Paul. Let me explain it. My servant. I'm let me explain it. You, Brother Rasul. Peter, who should have been the foundation. Brother Rasul. Yeah. You can't say what God should have done. No. Don't I'm not speak saying what for God. God should have done. God said, Peter, he would build a church. Peter, he would build a church. And Peter would be the rock. You going to let me answer you? Peter is nowhere to be found. Brother Russell, the reason why they rejected Paul, because they judged Paul by his past reputation, and he was persecuting the church. That's why they prejudged him. But when Brother Barnabas told them, he's praying now. He's a new creature now. He's not out there persecuting them no more. Barnabas didn't stay with him. Barnabas left. No, Barnabas did stay with him. If I had more time, I'd prove it to you. God bless you, brother. Acts 2, 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. How? For the, rem for the remission of sin. All right. For the remission of sins. And, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. All right, Jamaica and the world. That's what everybody got to do. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. If there's anybody here want to obey the message of holiness and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet and come to the front. Stand on your feet. Come to the front. Stand on your feet. Come to the front. Stand on your feet. Come to the front. Repent. And be baptized. Every one of you. Come to the front. I want my television audience to see this. Put the camera over there. Because there's lying false prophets in America. Say, Pastor Jennings be making these numbers up. He ain't baptizing all these people. They still coming. Anybody outside want to be baptized? Come on. You're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You're still a sinner. You're not saved. Anybody else? We baptized 29 last night. Isn't the Lord good? Come on. Glory to God. Come on. Now, you see how God proves his word? Out of all that fight the devil done, Amen. he still did not stop the work of God. Here's Brother Rasul, don't profess to be a Christian, but he know how to act. He's a Muslim, and I know Muslims by the hundreds, and they know me from all around the world. They know how to act when they come in God's house. Mr. Vegas, I'm told used to be a Christian. He 
never was a Christian unless you repent of your sins. Go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongue of the Spirit of God, give out. Jamaica, all of you that are watching, come out of your churches all around the world. Now, you women preachers here in Jamaica and Mr. Vegas, y'all can get on social media now and talk about Pastor Jennings all you want. I won't spend another second on you no more. No more. No more. Call me whatever you like. Call me what you want. Call me a bully. <laughs> if me asking for Bible make me a bully, then I'm a dire bully. Amen. Anybody else want to be baptized? You sinners. You sinners. You better come on and get it right. This is Jamaica's opportunity to get on the Lord's side. Mm -hmm. If not, come on, brothers, let's get them ready. Let's move them out. Let's move them out. Come on, brother, let's move them out. Let's move them out right now. Let's get them baptized in water. Let's move them out.